Hello, hello, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Solaris Patch 3.11 and um, kind of a unique Tuesday Gaming Live. So we're kind of hijacking Tuesday Gaming, which is meant to be playing things other than Stellaris. And uh, this week we're playing Stellaris because there's been a patch released today. I, of course, have a, uh, a nice cold drink at my disposal. Pay no attention to that cracking noise. That was simply a, a cold drink can opening. I hope you're all sitting comfortably. Hello, Twitch. Hello, YouTube. Are we ready to check out the new patch? Hmm. Delicious. Commander, uh... Commander Nagy says meow. Meow on both Twitch and YouTube. I see, I see. Uh, playing both sides there, are we? Um, what's going on? What's going on with the new patch? Well, I've done a video on the patch notes. The main changes here are... There's a tech rework, and they've pretty much gotten rid of almost all of the ship build cost reduction modifiers, and either removed or replaced the ship upkeep cost uh, ship upkeep reduction modifiers. So now we actually have to pay for our ships again. I think that is a good thing, though. Uh, overall, definitely a good thing. On top of that, we've had the tech rework. So not only do research researchers produce less research. They also now, uh, all of the techs are now more expensive and they are progressively more expensive. Not only are the earlier techs more expensive, but the later techs are more, more expensive. Uh, not less, more, more, more. So it's going to be, uh, yeah, welcome to the millionth rework of Stellaris. We're going to see how it is today. Um, <laughs> hopefully the stability is better. We're not playing multiplayer because I I don't want to test be testing out that stability live, but we are playing Single player. We're going to play some single player. Let's dive in and have a look at what I'm looking at. Do, do, do. Uh, yeah, what do we want to see? We want to see the game. Great, here we go. So, first off, we've got two choices. Either we can create an empire together, or we can go for the unholy abomination of picking random. What do we want to do, chat? What do we want to do? I will put up a poll. I'm seeing some people shouting random already. That's uh, that's an interesting sign. Good sign. Uh, <laughs> put up a poll. Normal lobbying rules apply. Uh, start poll. Start poll. Brilliant. All right. Oh, I've got goals today as well. Yes, we do have goals. It's not a stream without some goals. Let's get our goals on the screen. Where are you goals? You are They're somewhere. Where the devil are they? Boom! Five Twitch subs, five YouTube members, 150 likes, and one achievement. Randomized. Oh, that's a 2% lobbying towards random. Chad Random on YouTube is winning with 64% of the vote now, whereas on Twitch, Chad Random is winning with 67% of the vote. Crazy. You had the word Chad in there, and uh, people like clicking it. Just saying. Just saying. All right. How are we all doing otherwise, though? Has everyone had a nice Tuesday? Let's go. Random! Shouts, uh, shouts uh, Chakal50 on Twitch. Spiritual Megacorp, says Riz. Mm, interesting, interesting. The Off uh, Ended Taco says... Oh, The Off Ended Taco, not The Off. The Off Ended Taco says... Do it! Lol. So, um, I think I think chat might be interested in random. If we pick random, it's going to be basically anything, and we will have to roll and adapt to survive. Improvise, adapt, overcome, ladies and gentlemen. That's the, that's the goal. Oh, we've got... And we've also got two uh, Brodo Bird and Chakal50. Thank you for your prime subscriptions. We're now uh, three Twitch subs away from hitting our goal there. A nice afternoon of work and wanted to distract me while I do it. You must be in America, Jake Corley. Oh, goodness me. Mocro hits it out of the park there with five gifted memberships on YouTube. New members, don't forget to join the Discord. We've actually only got, I think, uh, there was an issue with the YouTube integration on Discord. I fixed that today. And now we actually have, uh, everyone has their correct roles now, I believe. Um, but until th there was something wrong with it, it wasn't updating. I tried to reset it and the whole thing got deleted and I had to redo it. It took like an hour. It was super annoying. Uh, and I punched the microphone then just to show you how annoyed I was. But let's fill in that goal. Amazing. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very, very much, Mogro. Does right now mean that if I reloaded Stellaris right now, I get a new version? Yes, right now means right now. It's released like an hour or two ago. Very, very recently. Bonsoir from France, says Metapulpo. Double voting for the win. Shouts Morgan HDA. Morgan, don't do that. Uh, 
Angel Scar, thank you very much for your Prime subscription on Twitch. We're now, what are we, two subs, two Twitch subs away from hitting that goal. Wow. Let's, uh, let's fill in this goal. Ba -ba -ba. And I set a new goal. And members. Twice the pride, double the fall. And I will make it so it's actually visible. Et voila. Right, how are we doing so far? So YouTube is saying 59% because we have that 2% uh, uh, super chat uh, from, let me double check, from Tev Von Alt, who lobbied. The lobbying rules are when we're doing polls, just if you're new, $1 on Twitch with a super chat or 100 bits, sorry, $1 on YouTube with a super chat or 100 bits on Twitch. And that counts as 1% towards the vote of whichever thing you want to vote for. So we, we do have a fair and reasonable democratic system that I believe is a very good representation of uh, modern democracy. But, you know, you could always not agree with me. Monto our beloved, could we be a megacorp, says Legendary Cake, and puts his fingers together. Well, we might be able to if we're going to get random. So so we will have to see. Oh, David's coming in, knocking out of the park. And I just filled in the thing. Thank you very much, David. Welcome, new members. Don't forget to get your... um to get your role on the discord server we, we've hit another goal let's let's put the new goal in so uh, then we five, okay, fine. that's fine that's fine it's all good and it's visible good people can read it good we don't have too many goals you found <coughs> excuse me i've got a bit of a cough today i apologize if that comes through <clears throat> um yeah i woke up this morning with a terrible sore throat and I, uh, i'm 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 all up on honey tea, ibuprofen, and paracetamol at the moment, so it's fine. It'll all be fine. Right. Chakal says, I found out it updated when all my mods broke. Don't forget, you can always roll back to a previous version. So you can roll back to 3.10, and all your mods will still be working, and you'll be able to play all of your saves from 3.10. Do not forget that if you're on Steam. You just have to go to Properties, Beta, and then roll it back. Just finished work, collapses in chair. Montu, blow shiznit up, please, says Jay Palmer. Your wish is possibly my command. It depends on the empire we get. Right, we're a moment away. Twitch is currently 55% of the vote with 110 votes on Twitch. What is happening over there? Um, 110 votes on Twitch, or more than that even. Sorry, 120 votes on Twitch. Only And 226 votes on YouTube. Wow, we're actually getting quite a few. Amazing. Uh, but Chad Random has won on Twitch. Level 1 Commoner contributed 4,300 channel points. I see how it is. I see how it is. Showbron Chris, thank you very much for your Prime sub subscription on Twitch. We are one Twitch sub now away from our Twitch sub goal. I'll end the poll on YouTube. Chad Random has won. Let's select Random. Right. We'll go to the Medium Galaxy. Uh, we will start with one times tech and tradition cost. And we will go with normal difficulty adjusted technology costs. Ooh, I love nested tooltips. Scaling difficulty will have mid-game Grand Admiral, because why not? Um, turn on Xeno compatibility, because we're evil. Rigging as much as I could, says so level one commoner. I support you. I support that. I support that vote. vote. Can spend points for more votes. Yes, you can on Twitch when I forget to turn that off. I intend to turn that off, but sometimes I leave it on. That's my bad. I suppose also I need to change up what you can spend your points on at the moment, because mostly it's just votes, isn't it? Nah. Go all default so we can see the diffs. This, uh, oh, okay. Well, no, this is basically default, isn't it? Like, there might be a couple of things I change. Yeah, so I'm going to bring back the mid-game. About 25 years. I'm going to go up from Cadet to Grand Admiral. Turn on difficulty adjusted scaling to mid-game. Otherwise, I think we're going to go on all default here. Yeah, oh, well, more, more, come on, more empires. More empires is fun. You can't say no to more empires. One less Marauder. Oh, let's have two. Why not? And we'll just quietly move that up to uh, five times. I don't imagine we'll be here when the crisis arrives, but, you know, actually we'll put the... Maybe we will. Put the end game at 23-25. Max Fallen Empire says Nagy. Na Nagy, no, no. All right, fine. All right, we'll do that. Why not? Why not? Your empire won't be here this time to derail everything, okay? All right? Okay. Away we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're now into patch. Uh, we've been going 10 minutes. We're now into patch 3.11, the tech rework. We have 113 likes. That's four, uh, 37 away from our goal. I want to get an achievement today. Ew. 
this is kind of... Oh, pacifist egalitarian. Thrifty could be okay. Talented, I don't mind. Adapt is all right. Unruly and solitary are great. Scavengers, I'm super met on. Functional architecture is fine. That's a good start. But pacifist? Why? Why, YouTube? Why? Oh, uh, Brodo Bird just donated a Twitch subscription. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, Fail McPhail, I hope you enjoy it. Let's update that goal. But also, why pacifist? Oh, this was just meant to be a nice, fun evening where we do nice, fun things like genocide. And instead, I'm stuck with pacifism and liberation. I hope you're happy, chat. I hope you're happy. I guess that means we could turn everyone into kind of little mini versions of ourselves. That that could be fun, I suppose. Meh. Prosperous unification is a bit boring, but uh, yeah. Oops, crash redo says Johan Game. <laughs> no, no, this isn't a crash. I will abide by it. We we went for random, and now we are a moral democracy. Chat, remember, you are a moral democracy. Should we have a re-roll or should we stick with this? Now, I'm happy to have a re-roll. Because, you know, then we don't have to play pacifist. But we could always... We could stick with this. Um, let's have a quick vote. I'll leave this one up just for a minute or two. And we will, of course, have lobbying available. Now, pacifism, if you don't know, means we, we have some issues when it comes to, like attacking and invading other people which is a cornerstone of my gameplay and the gameplay of many others never let morals get in the way of the right thing says netgears yeah and also important thing to note here because of the tech rework tech rushing is still possible but not as good and the that basically the time of tech rushing is over the time of the alloy monkey has come damocles of syracuse throws in 10 percent towards reroll Okay, it looks like chat don't want pacifist either. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Thank you very much for your super chat and support, Damocles. I see you. Um, but that puts us on 76% for reroll on YouTube and 88% on Twitch, meaning, fortunately, I'm going to be able to not be pacifist, hopefully, unless we get fanatic pacifist, which wouldn't be good. That, that would be actually bad. Um, yeah. Oh, we've got a hype train on Twitch. Choo-choo. Pacifists are for scrubbing floors. Jay Palmer, I, I don't... I, 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 apes, apes, apes. We are the apes, says Snapgizzy. Yeah, well, the, if, we could, if we could not be pacifists, we could go for some alloy monkeying and, uh, and just have a lot of fun there. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Jeff demands war, says Fire Dragon. That Darth, if I get fanatic pacifist, I am going to have a little cry in the corner. I think I'll go and get some vodka or something. Um, I'll need it while we do like five hours of Sim City. Oh, jeez. It's all fine, though. It is all fine. All right, I'll leave the vote open for a little longer if anyone wants to lobby. But here's hoping we reroll fanatic pacifist spiritualist, says David Woodmansey. Woodmansey chucking in on pacifism. So on Twitch, 82% pacifist with a total of 28 votes. On YouTube, I'm going to close the vote there. We are now at 77, 82% uh, re-roll. So uh, that's what I say on Twitch. Sorry, I'm a little, as I said, a little not well. Um, re-roll has passed. So let's just go and uh, check where we were in the galaxy. Oh, look at this terrible start. Yeah, I'm glad we re-rolled. Super glad we re-rolled. Uh, exit to menu. Time for that beautiful re-roll. Come on, militarist. Come on, militarist authoritarian. That's what we want. Militarist authoritarian. I take Megacorp as well. Here we go. Here we go. We have hit 150 likes. That, that is true. And we're fanatic xenophile. Oh. Oh. Can we go back to pacifist? Would that would that be acceptable? No, you know that 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 would be fine, right? Right, chat, right. Everyone deserves a do-over, right? In life. Um. All right. Well, no. This is this is uh okay. 
It's Joe Ever. It's Jova, says uh, Red Sun. Well, no, here we go. But we are Shattered Ring. Venerable natural sociologist, conservationist, unruly psychological infertility. Oh. Mining guild, okay. And memorialist, okay. I don't hate that. Fanatic uh, xenopharmines will probably find it relatively easy to get like a migration treaty with somebody. Hopefully. Right? We're making a lot of consumer goods. Look at this though, 57 research. So our researchers are producing three base research per pop. It's ugh. Covenant roleplay. Kind of, yeah, I, I think so. Lincor and uh, Ran X Randy Rabbit, thank you very much for your Twitch subscriptions. We're now three more Twitch subs away from our goal with Twitch subs. Immediately betray all of your beliefs, says the Holy Emu. Yeah, so what are our beliefs? The Pious Kassam Nation. We need a new name. Chat, we need a new name. Come on. Super chat me or just shout or like get my attention. Give us a new name. Uh, Chief Precentor. No, 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 no. Arch. Prophet. Yes. And actually we can make it Arch Prophet. There we go. Cult of the Ring. Hmm. Oh, we can be the Lords of the Ring. <laughs> yeah. um, and that makes this guy Amaya. Is that how you spell Maya? Is there an R in Maya or is it just M-I-A-I? Yes, it's there is there is an R in Maya. Brilliant. We are the Lords of the Ring, ladies and gentlemen. And we are led by the Maya. <clears throat> We're led by the Maya. Ooh, I don't know. Let's let let be led by the Maya Mauron. Uh, Myron. Mm, there we go. Nice, friendly fellow, uh, Myron. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. The most powerful of all the Maya, Myron. What could go wrong here, eh? What could go wrong here? Deneb is next to us, meaning there's primitives. There must be primitives on this world. If it's Deneb... Uh, oh, wait, no, but it's just named Deneb. That's not the actual Deneb system, is it? Oh, that's a shame. That is a darn shame. Darn tootin'. So the plus one minerals actually means we get a reasonable amount of minerals here from our scrap miners. We're getting plus one base, so we're up to three. There's only one less than regular mineral miners, and we get some alloy outcome, alloy output as well. All good stuff. Uh, Shattered Ring can't have energy district, can it? No, that's kind of sucky, so we won't go for any- Look at these tech costs! Also, 215 months for the first technology. 215 months, ladies and gentlemen. Maya, Myron will not sit still for this. G and Alf says Bobo. <laughs> the ring must spin. No, no, Myron is great, and if anyone gets the reference, please... Please let me know. Uh, no, not Myron. Manway says Supreme. No, we can't have Manway. That's not a Maya. Manway's not a Maya. They are a, um, uh, what's the level above a Maya? Uh, 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 what's the level above a Maya called? A Va yeah, there's a Valar. And we're not, we're not a Valar. We're, uh, no, we're, no, we're Myron. Sauron never heard of him. That's not happened yet. This is the first age. We're all good over here. This is just suppressive. Look at this. 180 months. 180 months. I mean, I, I think it's I think it's good in some ways, but we'll we'll just we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'll have to give over my Lost of Lord certified card now, says Supreme. Yes, you darn well do. And you need to go and brush up on the Silmarillion. We're all deeply disappointed. Right, let's unpause. We will set our trade pol uh, economic policy to... We'll keep it at mixed, I suppose. Yeah, we're all good there. Uh, we will... Buy some minerals, I think. Yeah. We got so many blockers to clear. So ancient rubble is 300 and so, 250 and so. 
And we've got the decrepit tunnels. Well, I'm clearing those, we get stuff. So that's good. Rename your homeworld to the wandering Kessar Tolaris. Uh, one second. What's the ring called? Uh, what's the ring called in, 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 uh... Oh. Well, the, this is called the one ring. What, what are these gonna be called? The other one ring? The, the other one, the other, other one ring? Uh, mm, confusion, concern. The middle ring, yeah, exactly. Uh, Lilypad Frogs, thank you very much for your Twitch Prime subscription. I knew it! We found the Codronites, everybody panic! Otherwise, we're all good, though. Name them the Elven Rings. Yes, yes, yes. That's a that's a better point. So this can be Varia. Not that I know the names of the Elven Rings off the top of my head or anything. Uh, or should it be Nenya? No, let's have it with Varia. Is that the, is that the right spelling? Nadia. No, Varia is not a ring. It's Nadia. Yeah, sorry. Vilia. I just confused Vilia. And Nadia and put them into one. That's so that's almost unforgivable. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize profusely. Nanya. And this one is going to be Vilia. There we go. That's much better. So here we are. There's no text, so we might as well have a playthrough like this, right? Things have changed in the traditions, and it wasn't in the patch notes. I'm actually kind of annoyed about this. If you're going to make big changes to traditions, it should probably go in the patch notes because prosperity is now absolute dog poo. The finisher for prosperity is now minus 10% station upkeep rather than plus 5% resource output from jobs. My beloved prosperity that used to have 5 stability and 5% resources from jobs, that's gone and now it does minus 10% station upkeep. So for this you get the, the basic, the, the main things you get from prosperity are 20% station output, 25% build speed increase and 10% build cost. I'm not going to talk about the upkeep because that's crap. 5% resources from jobs. That's it. Our beautiful prosperity has changed. Also, domination has been uh, slapped in the face a bit as well. Where are you, domination? No longer does it give us reductions when we are making... Um, when we are making... No longer does it give us reductions to clearing blockers. Now we get plus 10% slave pot resource output and minus 25% slave political power. That sounds amazing because we are a fanatic xenophile, meaning it is beyond illegal for us to ever have slavery, ever. So the opener here is literally forever, where are you domination, forever pointless to us, forever pointless. They've not even, they've not even like made it, given us a different thing or something. It's just like, yeah, domination, nope, nope. Were there changes to mercantile? Is, mer is mercantile all right? Is it safe? Is it all right? Uh, so far we're looking the same. 10% trade value, that's all the same. Mercantile's, mercantile's okay. So we open statecraft now. I was actually thinking of going into trade, uh, but we could do statecraft. 12 months. I think we're going to go into trade, actually. We're going to go into mercantile. It's not a good enough bonus. Mercantile just doesn't have good enough bonuses. Yeah, we'll do statecraft. Get your trade builds ready, everyone. Migrating from prosperity to mercantile. I'm not even sure that's the, the right choice, though, either. Yeesh. Yeesh, Barbadook. Uh, let's build another mining district. Yay! What, is this Lord of the Rings music? This sounds like the Isengard theme. This sounds like the Isengard theme. Am I having a brain fart? The Nemesis theme suddenly sounds like the Isengard theme to me. Like the, the bit where they're flying through the caverns of Isengard. Okay, now it's changed. But opening on that, I was convinced we were in Isengard for a moment. Just for a moment. 
Expansion gives you a boost to habitats now as well. Yeah, I didn't look at that. Sorry, expansion has been changed, but that was in the patch notes. Did Monto already cover the changes? Yes, I have a 35-40 minute video, Christian, that was released a few days ago where I go through the entire patch notes changes. So far, the main things we need to look at here is how long it takes us to research anything and how little research production we get from our researchers. Three base. Yuck. All right, we'll get going. Will research from anomalies be stronger now with the research rework? Yes, unless they've nerfed that, which they might have done. Well, it will be stronger than before if you're getting the same amount, because obviously you're not producing as much as you would be previously. Uh, yeah, the, the amount of time there is very long, 120 months for hydroponics, because the price has gone up massively. Uh, the price has gone up 600, and our output has gone down about... So the price went up 25-30%, and the, our output has gone down about 25-30% as well. So net, that's a bit of a reduction, yeah. We need some new names for the council that are Tolkien specific. Names, please. Names, please. Uh, this could be the... Um, Ed Estadi. Oh no, I mean the council positions. Uh, one second. Kurumo, yes. Make the Minister of State the Steward of Gondor. I uh, have concerns about that. Definite concerns. And next up we're going to go for Expand the Council. One play says, look at Lutz. What did Lutz say? I don't see what Lutz said anything. What? Minister of Second Breakfast. Minister of the Palantiri. I was hoping we could all go for, like, other names. Um... This can be, uh, Chief Orc. Let's spell Orc for a moment. And we're going to go with something that doesn't exist in any of the books, but why not? Actually... No, no, this can be Chief... We'll go, we'll go proper. We're going to be a Chief Balrog. There we go. Gothmog, the Lord of the Balrogs. Remove the sprawling slum. And maybe the ancient rubble as well? Yeah, it will get rid of an ancient rubble as well. Glamrung, Glaurung, the first dragon. Time for a research lab, says Doopy Smurf. No. No. No, no research labs. What would be the point? Tell me what would be the point. A sanctuary of repose, on the other hand. Now, now you've got my attention. Sheliak, we'll grab that way. I'll take the agenda speed. Yes. 
I think we're basically going to say hello to the people of Deneb 2 almost straight away. I think that's going to be the plan there. Where are the farmers at? Farmers? Where we're going, we don't need farmers. We have, we do have four farmers, but I don't want them. Uh, actually, what we could do is we could reform when we get to, you know, have the technology or just later on. Uh, maybe get rid of memorialists and reform to have the uh, catalytic processing. Just a thought. Just a thought. Just an idea. Spitballing amongst friends. Samwise, the greatest gardener of all. We gotta ask ourselves though, has Samwise been dropping eaves? Let's colonize Vilia. He might promise us, sir, he'd been dropping no eaves, but I can tell you for a fact he'd been dropping eaves. Is that an abandoned gateway? Nice, an abandoned gateway. No research matter, Twister 11. I mean, basically, the plan here, I think, is going to be to kind of... We're going to alloy monkey our way up. I'm going to increase unity. Get a bunch of unity. Go for alloys. Uh, we're going to have strike craft. And then we'll just butcher one of our neighbors. I mean, invite them into our loving embrace as the... As the fanatic xenophile Lord of Lords of the Ring, led by Maya, Maya Maidon. We're not going to get in touch with extra civic slot, uh, civic slot tech. No, that's very true, Heavenar. That is very true. It's beyond expensive at the moment. Uh, let's take a look back at those tech costs. Yes, very, very expensive. And we haven't even got into empire size yet, so Th thumbs up. So is playing tall just dead now? No, no, playing tall is fine. The issue is that producing alloys is early on is going to be better than tech. Later on, if you don't do that on a big enough galaxy, like maybe 800 to 1,000 stars, you're going to run into issues when the enemy has much better tech than you. But early on, you'll be fine. Joaquim of Mordor, says Pedre. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mysterious spacefarers, reveal yourselves. And then we should colonize this. Nenya next. And then it's Nenya business. We cannot indoctrinate. Why can we not indoctrinate? Active. Let's go up to active interference. Let's start a spy network, and we're going to make these aliens know that our ways are the right ways. Because they are spiritualist pacifist. Disgusting. Oh, and xenophobe. But they are rock people. Ooh. Kind of want them to be in the empire now. I think we're going to go hard on indoctrination here. We're going to indoctrinate the crap out of them and then plant lots of advanced knowledge, because why not? Why shouldn't I? Now that th while this is going, we can actually start clearing blockers a bit early, so we'll do that. I don't think we can do any of these, though. No, because they require text, don't they? Yeah, improved reflectors, ion thrusters, star hold, global energy management. Yeah, we'll just clear the ancient rubble once. Eighty-two months. We've reduced that a bit. That's good. Production quotas are up. That is also good. Another mining district and more ancient rubble to be cleared. How are we doing, chat? Are we the baddies? So, twist said Twister 11. No, 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 not if we win. Also, we're not the baddies. We're fanatic xenophiles. Uh, we, we, we remember the dead, and we like to mine the, the ring. The, ri the ring gives Myron power. Lots of power. I'm thinking, like, an ungodly amount of power, if you will. And also, these aliens on the ground are clearly... 
They're xenophobic. They need to be helped and shown a better way. The right way. Our way. Okay? What do we need to have for advanced knowledge? Uh, no, we don't want that. We want... We want indoctrinate society. And then we might infiltrate. Well, then we'll advance knowledge and infiltrate the government. It's fine. Send them cuddly nukes to keep them warm. Hoy, hold up. Hold up. Oh, we're at 260 likes. Crikey. Sorry, we hit another goal. I will, of course, oblige. Let's make it a bit more challenging next time. Let's make it 400 likes. Mwahahaha. An interesting, albeit primitive design, we found a solar sailor. Nice. Let's clear some ancient rubble there. Does this not work? I thought, is it, does it not work anymore? Have they fixed that? Oh, they have. That's interesting. Their awareness is low. Why is their awareness going to low? Oh, just one. Whatever. Ooh, we could get 360 unity. Yeah, I'll take that. Ah, uh, we've got no unity left. Yeah, okay, that's that's a fair, fair problem. Right, we will grab this fella. And just automate exploration. Why not? Did it fix the fleet manager bug? Which fleet manager bug are you talking about, Supreme? But how about 420 likes? Ooh, you know what? You know what? Okay. So, the next like goal is 420 likes. The sub goal is... Uh, how far off are we on the sub goal? We are two subs off on the Twitch sub goal. It's 10. And on YouTube, we are five members off of the, uh, the, the 15 members goal. Here we are. Yeah, what's the bug? What's the bug, Supreme? How long do these streams go for? Well, usually Tuesday night gaming we do for... Well, Tuesday game we do for uh, three three hours-ish. Two and a half to four hours. Today we might go a little longer. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how we're feeling. Don't want to spread disinformation. I want, I want to indoctrinate society, damn it. Give me 30 infiltration. Otherwise, everything is looking good. It is all looking pretty good. Ah, good. It does still work. We cleared the rubble. Ooh, they're receptive. We may have a friend. I like friends. Thank you, Dugo. Dugo. Do Doug. Go. Duggo. Let's go with Duggo. Thank you very much for your Twitch uh, subscription, Duggo. Friends. Ooh, friends. And then we'll also construct the starbase there. And we will build an industrial district for more alloys. Because we can switch one pop over there. And we're going to start turning these into pop farms. Ish. Might have gone a bit early with those actually. Because I forgot how slow the research is. So kind of clearing the power grid might take a little longer than we anticipated. Oh my goodness. We're still 86 months away. Oh. Oh. Tell you what, though, this observation post now kind of is a lot of science. No, we don't want to do aggressive observations. No, no, no. Hold it. Hold on. Right, so we've got one pop here. And I don't think we'll get any pop growth. Because it's zero, or do we just get really reduced pop growth? We do. We do get some. Basically none. Um, I see. Yeah, yeah.
Minus 2.7 from low pops? What? First off, I think I'm going to turn off immig pop, pop, uh, immigration. We're, uh, we're putting up a border for our orcs. Oh, fanatic spiritualists. Hello there. Hello, yes. We're friendly. Well, we'll, 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 we'll pretend to be friendly. I'm not going to form an aggression pack because I think, I think we might need to restructure their government. They are a dictatorship and that's bad. So we need to help them to stop being a dictatorship, I feel. What do you think, chat? Should, do we need to help them stop being a dictatorship? Do we need to save those people from the oppressive regime of uh, the Grolfer Blessed State? Hmm? I think so. They're not worshipping Manwe. Oh, they're not worshipping uh, Eru Iluvatar. Not worshipping, uh, worshipping Eru Iluvatar at all. You could become the dictator. No, 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 no. We wouldn't be a dictator. That's wrong and evil. We're not evil. Let's get a third science ship. I'm also going to redesign our fleet while we're here. Uh... Here we are. Here's the orc class ship. Twisted and mutilated by the savage powers. Yeah, eight first traditions, not terrible. You're running a Tolkien empire. You impressed me. Never thought you read those books. Yeah, massive Lord of the Rings fan. Absolutely massive. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Tech, as <laughs> Tech ascendancy. <laughs> nope. Um... I think I see one vision. Chat, what should we take for us at first Ascension perk? I'm thinking one vision, but I could be convinced to do something else. Yeah, no, we're not taking that. Thank you. Make it a forge capital. Burn in the fires of industry. Ever read the Silmarillion? Yes, Tesla. Well, not for a long while. And uh, not not in one sitting. Crikey. But I have read bits and pieces. Yeah, we'll make some trade. Because don't forget, trade is never affected by habitability. So even though we're on 0% hab, we're fine. Uh, the issue is going to be getting the techs up to be able to actually make it livable. Um, it's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. We'll clear the decrepit tunnels. Oh, their fleet is overwhelming. Brilliant. Uh, let's... Well, two can play that game. Uh, let's delete that. Bring back the fleet. Where have you gone, fleet? Let's see if we can bypass them. Oh, they've made steam power. They've gone from the uh, Stone Age to the Steam Age. Excellent. Now, oh, we still can't indoctrinate them. Come on. Figure out the spy network, damn it. Ritanoka. Suck. I'm actually, I actually think I might spend the unity on launching Expand the Council early. Uh, 
Ah, uh, the bioreactor. Minus two food from farmers, plus two energy credits from farmers, plus one farmer job. Hmm. It's not terrible. Let's go for planetary unification. And I'm, I am considering launching... Oh, there we go. 400. Yeah, I'll pay 400. Then we'll take Evolving Society. And we will put down... Ooh, High Curator. Or Chairman of the Mines. The Mines! High Curator. None of these are... None of these are good. Uh, we'll grab you, I suppose. And we'll stick you straight away to govern this place, because, yeah, you can stop them doing whatever it is that they're doing that we don't like. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so now they're making some trade value, so it's actually, their job is worthwhile. Excellent. Oh my god, 3,900. Um, yeah, uh, that's very expensive. Uh, okay, fine. No, did I? Oh, I was too slow. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, chat. I wasn't paying attention and they stole the SAR system. You start a ring with all these blockers and you don't want mastery of nature. What am I missing? Uh, mastery of nature only lets you improve... Uh, ba, ba, ba. No, it's all of them. I, is mastery of nature possible on artificial worlds? I didn't think it was. Nataru subscribed to Tier 1 for three months. Amazing. You've basically been with us for the whole journey then. Uh, what are we going for? Sorry, what are we going with Ascension Perks? Hello, Nataru. Hi, Curator. More like Ring. A Ring? The Ring Bearer. Oh, this is the Ring Bearer. Let's go with my favorite Ring Bearer. Isildur, the Chad, I mean, like, Bilbo's great, Smeagol's all right, Sauron's cool, Frodo's awesome, but Isildur is the Chad ring bearer. You vote Mastery of Nature? Don't vote Mastery of Nature. That's a bad idea. Right, let's put a poll up. Put a poll up for it. I don't think Mastery of Nature works for us. Though it does give us clear block blocker cost, that is true. Um, Samwise the Great. No, Samwise never carried the ring. He just carried somebody carrying the ring. Okay. Very different. Very different. We'll put this one up for a little bit. Uh, of course, we'll allow lobbying. A dollar on YouTube or 100 bits on Twitch is a uh, lobbying amount. And it's learning. I don't know why there's a capital E on learning now, but there is. Okay, just bear, bear with it. What? No, don't run away. Oh, fooey. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, we'll just indoctrinate society then, if if you would. Thirty alloys is fine. We want to get that number up a bit though. Yes, One Vision is winning on Twitch and it's winning on YouTube with 46% on YouTube and 57% on Twitch. So let's call this one the White Council. We're just going to, I mean, originally I was just going to go with like a, like a, like a gods thing, like um, uh, the Amaya and the Valar and stuff. But now we're just going to, that's going to be the White Council. And this is going to, oh, Woodman's he comes with him with Mastery of Nature plus 10%. And Samwise did bear the ring for a short period after Frodo got stung by Shelob. 
That is a good point. Damn it, Woodman. See, you're right. He did carry it for a, a, for, for a few hours. You are entirely correct. I apologize. That's very true. No, that is very true. I think Ascension Theory should be moved to a tier 3 tech buster, McFarley. But I also think that it should be only when you've got all traditions finished. Tier 3, all traditions. That's how you spell Eru Iluvatar, isn't it? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Plus 5% research speed. Yes, I will. Thank you very much. Did we get... Oh, we've got hydroponics base. Brilliant. Let's let's whap some of those bad boys out. Mastery of Nature is currently in second place on YouTube with 36% of the vote. In first place, we have one vision on YouTube with 44% and on Twitch, one vision with 56%. We need Tom Bombadil. What, you mean the Minister of State? Um, and actually, this should be... Um... He's a nice fellow. Oh, those fiends. What have they done? Right, so we've uncovered that the... The Glorfler... Grolfer's Gro blessed state have been plotting to deceive us. But we were not deceived. Those fiends. Right, we're gonna hit them where it hurts. Their bank balance. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna grab... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna grab that quickly. No need to worry about that. It's all fine. All fine. Nothing to see here. Excellent. Excellent. Have we indoctrinated them yet? No, apparently not. But but indoctrinate faster. Agrarian, uh, agrarian. Uh, so anglers are with catalytic processing is actually very powerful. Anglers is a very powerful one. Tell them an EP three nil joke. EP EP three o joke. That will teach them. <laughs> Deceive the deceiver, how quaint. Exactly, exactly, Nataru. No other ring was made, Fern. Yes, yes. Right, it looks like, unless there's any more lobbying, one vision is going to win. Uh, and we, we have only one vision here. The vision of the great, the great Maya, Myron. Let's add in seven more. And I should get another scientist. Uh, you, you will do. Tier three, that'll be fine. Oh, do we coexist with the creatures? N no, I, I don't think so. They, we need to, we want to bring order and save everybody. That's Myron's big thing, you know, crafting order in the in the galaxy. Holy crap! One vision, one on Twitch with fifty percent of the vote, and one vision is one on YouTube with forty-five percent of the vote. In second place on YouTube, we have Lame Mastery of Nature with thirty-seven percent, and on Twitch, it had forty percent. So, one vision all the way. Field manipulation. Yeah, go on. We've almost researched our first physics technology and we're 13 years into the game. Oh, good lord. Twenty-nine, we are at fourteen. Okay, we need more ships. 
We need more orcs. We need more orcs. We'll set you towards to explore. You're doing fine. Wait, orcs, are we the bad guys? No, 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 no. This is Maya Myron. Myron would never do a bad thing. And if he did, he'd apologize profusely and promise to never do a bad thing again. And the Valor would clearly forgive him, probably. <clears throat> it's all fine. Uh, yeah, well, I don't think we'll take their resources. We will... They've unified their world? Oh, crap. That's pretty cool. Huh. Peasants. Peasants! Ironically, the miners are better, but they're still going with peasants over miners, even though they eat the minerals. I don't... I don't know what they're playing at, but they're clearly stupid. Crack it open. Crack it open. Actually, you know, you go there. You go here. We'll put hangar bays out. That'll show them. Given what happened on Numenor, we should reform into a death cult. No, 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 no. This is we're the Lords of the Ring. It's the Ring. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, Numenor never heard of her. Um, oh, so expensive. So expensive. Let's get improved deflectors, I suppose. I think improved deflectors is one that lets us clear, right? Yes. So we can clear the unstable vacuum fields if we do get that. Okay, that's good. Logaba, with their first ever Twitch chat, has said, Do you all usually play on one times timer speed or wait, or do you go to three times timer speed with pauses? I generally, when I'm playing by myself, go on fast and then don't actually pause a lot, but that does, isn't necessarily the best thing to do. When I'm playing, when you're watching, I try to not do that because I, I don't want to, you know, look like an idiot. No, I'm not forming a defensive pact. Hold up. Hold your horses. Oh, uh, oh, oh, a migration treaty. And they are survived. We stole one of their guaranteed habitables? <laughs> I mean, yes. Oh, is it Nernan? Sorry, it's not Nern. It's Nernan. Oh, great. We've done that. So we can now break the migration treaty. Perfect. And it will still, of course, build the colony ship. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you very much to Fanatic Xenophile. You've, you've, been, you've been beautiful. Have we indoctrinated them? Oh, indoctrinate them. Make them change their thinking. They must believe... That our Maya is the best Maya. So basically, Master Shipwrights now doesn't give any ship build cost reduction, so it's kind of meh. Um, ship upkeep reduction is still good, and nav cap is good. But I'm actually going to start with overwhelming force. <sighs> Military build up is kind of rubbish now, though. Gothmog is now a strategist. And so is Maya Myron. 
We also made another first contact somewhere. Where was that? Ah, over here. Okay, cool. Oh, they're like, please, we really want that migration treaty, please. 38 versus our 37. Ooh. Our orc fleet shall blot out the stars. Oh, I've not seen Twitch. What's Twitch? Is Twitch anything? We're a death cult now. No, no, no. We've not been a death cult. No, it's fine. Three times an infinite pauses, says uh, Duggo. Oh, we've indoctrinated them. Apparently they're more xenophilic. Let's see if that had a change. No, no, no change really. They have 50%, 50% xenophile. They have changed. They have changed a lot. Right, now they're good. Let's, um... Implant advanced knowledge. I'm going to take the pop growth speed. We need it. Would it be worth it to convert the non-orc corvettes to orcs? I think they're all orcs. Yeah, they're all orcs. Yeah, yeah, we're... We just have a lot of orcs running around. And this other fleet needs an admiral. Yeah, we can have Glaurung. Sure, that won't be an issue. Ahem. Fifty minor artifacts. Don't mind if I do. Can we sell them? Yeah, I'm just gonna sell them straight away. Okay. I don't hate this. How much would it be to just kind of borrow some planets? Uh, we need a little bit more. Okay, cool. We're getting a good amount from power projection, but not that much. Zug Zug says Natara, what do you mean? Uh, yeah, we've got good fleet. 69 research, nice. We, we don't have 72 though, I apologize. We were on 69. Unfortunately, it got better. Oh, an ancient genetic library. That's something. How is tech? Is science said, no, it's harder to rush, not impossible. The AI is slower as well, but it's generally probably going to be better to not push. I mean, we're not making much tech, and I don't really care. They're at tech power 40. We're at tech power 38. And they've definitely got more research than we have. And more pops as well, actually. Crikey. I want 115 more. It's 46 compared to our 59. We want more. I don't know why they keep hurting us, but apparently they do. It's weird. Right, what I'm going to do now is possibly a bit weird. I think I will... It's 80, it's 80 influence though. Oh gosh. I kind of want to steal technology, but it is very, very expensive. Uh, it's more important actually that I grab this outpost first. There we go. So chat, what are we thinking? Do we liberate a few planets? Do we liberate the oppressed? I think maybe, maybe we do. Maybe, maybe we do go and liberate the oppressed.
put a little poll up. Let's ask you, the the uh, the great council of our of our nation, whether we should go and liberate the oppressed. We'll do some anomalies as well. Get rid of all the farmers. No farmers here. Thank you. Not right now, anyway. Uh, we, they might. I mean, maybe we'll bring some farmers back later. But but right now we're, we're a farmer-free nation. Difficulty minus 10. Holy crap. You, I don't think you can ignore tech forever, but basically, I'm ignoring tech right now, and I don't think in the long run it's going to hurt us overly. Oh, by the way, Chad is voting yes on the liberation of these oppressed peoples. I got you, Chad. Oh, Supreme Alloy, 300 months. Oh. Oh. Are we spiritualists? Yeah, all right. We won't go for the robot tech. We'll go with fusion missiles. 55 months could be worse. Got, okay, they produce 4.1. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. 668 viewers. Kick two, kick two for perfection, says Gamer Trojan. No, no, no. We're already at 670. Do we, um... It looks like chat wants us to go in and kill them. Like, we were friends, but chat's kind of thinking... Nope. Uh, that went wrong. Wait, let's try that again. The time has come. Execute Order 66. Yes, my lord. Yes, we're going to liberate them. Look, they're under a theatocratic dictatorship. And, and they, they, they process their people into alloys. It's terrible. Terrible. It's, it's inhumane. Oh, we've got a planet. We've got a planet. An actual honest to goodness planet. Produces uh, Death Chroniclers get Unity, Amenities, and Stability. Mm, yes. No. Yes. Yes. We'll grab that first. For a second, you thought it was a stupid Disney ad. Oh, they want a pre-game. Um, yeah, we'll pre-game. What? What? This is a weird. This is a weird chain. I've not gone through this before. We we basically sent an envoy over, and they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna pre-game with them." This seems like an Orville episode. <laughs> this really seems like an Orville episode. Damn dirty cat! Oh goodness me, we hit the number of uh, subscribers on Twitch. That means we've done a goal. Damn dirty cat! Welcome. Thank you. Which means we need a new goal. A strong goal. 15 Twitch subs. There's an election underway. I do want... We need to make sure My Myron gets back in. So we'll pay for that. There we go. Myron's won again. Huzzah. I will grab that one. Okay, we'll have those three. Excellent. 51 versus our 70. Should be a, a fair fight. Uh -huh. Very fair. On none, we're gonna get yeah, we're gonna we've got the Grolflurp here. All good, all good. Excellent. Our espionage mission is planting advanced knowledge. Good. 
we should almost certainly start kind of boosting the OS. And by the way, uh, YouTube and Twitch have both voted yes on liberating the primitives. Uh, uh, not the primitives, sorry. Liberating the oppressed over here. And that's, that's exactly what we're going to do. We are the Lords of the Ring. I mean, if, if Maeron's going to do this, at this point, I'm pretty sure he takes a new name. She takes a new... Oh, no, he takes a new name. Uh, Sauron. Yes. Okay, there we are. We do need some armies. I'm going to build an army worthy of Mordor. Prepare the Urukai, says the Doberman. No, no, no. We're not going to have any of those disgusting abominations here. Thank you very much. Only prime twisted elves in this in this world. Zykrom, you devilishly, devilishly sexy viewer, thank you for your support. One by one, the free peoples of the middle galaxy fell. <laughs> Here we go. I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time that we go to war. I, I think, I think we do. I'm going to make him an offer again with you. Zykron, welcome priest. Let's go. Show them we mean business. Oh, we're the life of the party. Evangelizing zealots. Uh, maybe they'll like us. Oh, they love us. Friendly already. We did the Galactic Omelette, and luckily it wasn't something bad, so, so everyone's happy. Fine, good, okay. That could have gone much worse. Another Savannah world! Well, I don't mind if I take that, actually. Oh, yeah, we've beaten the outpost. Let's go in and kick some butt. Oh, here they come. They are coming to us. Ladies and gentlemen, the enemy are at the gates. Oh, and they've engaged. They've engaged with one fleet! Oh, those fools! Those darn fools! Comp wiped out to the last ship. And now they're retreating. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Here we go. Excellent. Most excellent. Well... Victory is assured. Unintended genocide. Well, hold up. No, 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 no. We don't want an unintended genocide. We only want the intended genocides. Engineer, good. Let's put a butcher. Um... It's going to be gore bag. No, not gorg bag. Gore bag. The army of Kirithongol. Did we lose any ships? We didn't. We haven't lost a single ship. Oh, this is. It's all too easy. We're too dangerous to be left alive. Oh no, they have an inferior army as well. Ooh, not good for them. Not good for them at all. Azog the Defiler. Well, maybe. I've seen that we have orcs. What if we had more orcs? Let's increase our orcs by 30%. 
and increase the fleet command limit. Have we researched deflectors yet? Oh no, we haven't. Oh no, how much does it take? 54 months. Oh, well we started, so we'll finish. Not a single... We've lost one ship. We did lose a single ship, ladies and gentlemen. They're not the Pricky Tea. They're the Zadran Order. Clearly, the Pricky Tea are green, and these folks are orange. So, totally different. Totally different. Oh, we need some more alloys to colonize that world. Fine. Arista Rat, thank you for your Twitch subscription. Welcome. Grond. No, we don't need Grond. Grond, uh, not there yet. Uh, yeah, I think we basically won this war, right? There's nothing they're going to do. There's no, they, have, they have no defenses, no armies. I, I, we're not going to take everything from them. But they are going to suffer. Forty-six as opposed to our forty-three. Yeah, we're basically on par technologically, and there we go. Victory. So I'm gonna call this. Uh, this can be. Oh, what's the port of? Um, oh, this is Umbar. That can be Far Harad. And this can be the Harad Sector. Excellent, excellent. Oh, look, we've doubled our research income. They don't like it, but they're going to have to learn to live with it. Why are they making so few, uh, so few... Oh, my, uh, low stability. E yeah, okay, fair. Fair, fair. Meanwhile, Far Harad has a temple at... Yeah, okay, this is all lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We do need more mineral income, though. Crikey, yuck. So our economy's down the toilet, kind of, but it'll all be fine. So we're spiritualists. We expect everyone to worship us. Yes, exactly. Oh, I accidentally held down the shift key for too long. Yeah, I feel like you're going to have to be become the crisis. Orc ship class and several uh, questionable leaders. Right, look, we're now led by the Maya Sauron. He's renamed himself because he's bringing order to the galaxy. Uh, this can be... Um... Where could this be? Gundabad. We've learned of a new strategic resource. Gases. Ooh. Right, we'll wheel the fleet around and we will look west. Sixty-five. What's our economic power? Sixty-nine. Oh, it's not that high. Finishing the archaeology site is good. Well, just to do all the archaeology sites. Why not? Uh, you should also continue exploring. Yeah, Umbar is not happy. We should do something about Umbar's dishappiness, disloyalty. We've got the perfect governor. The ring bearer on Vilia. Yes, Isildur is now in charge of Umbar. Isn't that ironic? Uh, the righteous. Isildur is righteous as well, of course. Deploy the garrison. We don't need to. We're actually... Uh, we've deployed Isildur and he's stamping out the problem. 
The only issue is stabilities. We'll put down a hollow theater and that'll kind of that'll make that problem go away pretty quick, I think. Defensive pact declined. Do we need to upgrade anything? No, we don't. So actually, let's send Gothmog off on a fact-finding fact, find, fact finding mission. He's going to find out what all of these stars look like. It's an important fact-finding mission, because we're not the bad guys. The tech is more expensive late game as well. Let me have another drink. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, liquid is so necessary right now. Uh, yeah, we do want two entertainers. 28% is high enough that we don't actually... It's not going to hurt us anymore. But we are having a consumer goods problem. Hopefully this will fix it a bit. Isildur the industrialist. Yeah, why not? And as soon as they come around to our point of view, they'll, they'll be happy. 66% spiritualist. There we go. What do the factions think? Ah, uh, we haven't represented them on the council. We can fix that. Um, Isildur, you're great. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah, they're not represented on the council. That's a shame. Let's ban. Let's ban robots. And we'll make that faction happy. There we go. Ooh, bit of a thing with... Uh, yeah, let's sell some alloys. Okay, we're all good now. Yeah, don't expect to hit repeatables by 2300. That's true. Seriously, we got Fortifier or Recruiter. Ugh. Okay, this is... I'm not unhappy with this overall. This is... this is fine. Got a couple of miners up and running. Uh, some sort of conflict on Deneb 2? Did, did we... did we... did we care about that one? I, ew, not sure. Not sure that one mattered to us. We're still planting advanced knowledge. How's it going? They're 13% of the way through the Steam Age, so they're not far- Oh! Right. A Galactic Union. Hmm. Hmm. I mean... I think we want to punch them in the face and take their things, though, so... No? Oh, I should have said yes. No, I should have said yes. I should have said yes. Because, yeah, we should have said yes to the, the Federation. Yeah, well. They've reduced the amount of uh, nav capacity you get from fleet support as well, which is something. I, I'm not sure how I feel about that entirely. Let's go with that one, because it's only a few months. Actually, we, we, we'll just come home. Let's all just come home. Who's that? The Great Soramo Alignment. They are completely unknown to us. Let's establish an embassy. I think what we're going to do as well is turn these folks into a little vassal. So why not? 
Oh, yeah, if we actually send the trade routes back home, then, uh, you know, maybe we'd actually have... We'd actually have some income. I think that's about to fix our economy a bit. Oh, yeah, that fixed our economy. Oh, what a derp. What a derp. Oh, the economy is thriving. There we are. Economic success for all. Problems for some. Plus 10% tech progress. Okay. Has that done anything really to them? Uh, they just got 10%. That was useless. Right. Let's just re reveal our presence. Oh no, they're shocked. They're totally shocked. Let's improve relations. And this isn't Denob 2. Oh, I can't rename it because we don't own it. Ah, fooey. Yeah, the, some of the texts now are a bit odd. Like, getting surveying so late seems weird. Uh, we'll just get, like, a bajillion ships, because that's what I want. They have a shipyard here. Okay. Yes, this all looks kind of good. Hydroponics Bay. Hydroponics Bay. What ships are we at by this point in the game? I'm on... Co We've researched four society techs at year 26, three engineering techs, and one physics technology. We haven't even completed improved deflectors yet. It's... It's a thing. Oh my god. What sucky, sucky upgrades. We've got plenty of planets right now, though. So that's something. Oh, here we go. Right, yeah, okay. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to liberate some more primitives. Uh, yes. Their economy and fleets are massively inferior to us. Who needs technology when we're making 46 alloys a month? Is that it? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, let's research gene clinics. Why not? Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Fleet supremacy I could turn on. Land of opportunity I'm not going to turn on because we've turned off freedom of movement. All right, we keep going, though. Here we keep going. I must confess that whilst I like the council mechanics, I find the old days with cheap leaders you could rotate to min-max the tech tree. Yeah, no, that was that was so annoying. Honestly, that was super annoying. Super annoying. Hey, has anyone been playing it yet? What are people's thoughts back at, uh, back at home, then? A higher purpose. I mean, nothing here is actually something I want right now. Maybe we could rival these fellas. Oh, yeah! No, we need to harm relations to do that. So let's harm relations. Declare rivalry. get more influence from the rivalries what are we doing for our next tradition uh, next ascension perk ladies and gentlemen i need an idea oh seriously frontier spirit Ugh. 
Tom Bombadil, you can have Frontier Spirit, I guess. You failed me, Tom Bombadil. They're coming in piecemeal. They're going to get obliterated. What are they doing? Yes, red lasers will win the day against whatever they've got. Yep, there we go. And we'll just continue to steamroll over them. Actually, let's... Oh, oh, we, yeah, there we go. Jumped on top of them. Brilliant. Let's take a look at that. Oh, yeah, look, they're, they're, they're dying. Yep, yep, dead. Uh, pfft. Enmity. Oh, yeah, first... Oh, 420 likes been achieved. But, yeah, let's talk about... Oh, first blue lasers. Yes, please. We also need to note that we can get some debris. I should have got debris last time. That gives us just afterburners. Oh. Well, I suppose we're still flying half a ship. Ascension perks, though. Ascension perks. Stephen Murray, um, consecrated worlds. Oh, do we, do we have to consecrate the worlds? Do we have to do that? No, I don't. I don't think that's that's not what we want to do. Sauron isn't into consecration of worlds. Mastery of nature was shouted about. Imperial prerogative. Yes, we can go for prerogative. Um, that's a good shout. Let's see. Consecrated worlds. Or grasp the void. Eh, why not? As ever, we're going to have the same uh, same rules in terms of lobbying. You can uh, one dollar on YouTube or hundred bits on Twitch. Will be will be one percent of the vote for whatever you indicate. Graph the void has been nerfed. I'm being told. Has it plus five starbase capacity? FTL travel technologies appear one point five times as much. That sounds pretty normal. Or confused 2232 yeah we can come back and deal with them later meanwhile at Gundabad Yeah, we'll just steamroll everybody, I suppose. And then we'll maybe come and kick their butt. Oh my goodness, yeah, they suck. Why have they got no fleet? Oh, they got 53 fleet power. That's nothing compared to our 134. Because the AI has no tech and kind of suck. Whereas we have red lasers. Yes. Didn't see that one coming, did they? Idiots. Zero G refinery sounds good. Let's go with oh, 66 months, but we'll do it. Oh, indirect nerf because tech is less useful. Uh, eh. It looked like Imperial Prerogative is winning, though. 37% of the vote on YouTube and 50 50 on Twitch between Imperial Prerogative and the other one. You should do more debris. What's the debris here? Is it all just that? It's all afterburners. They got all afterburners. Right, there's that. I think... I think we'll just get ready to go and smack these fellas in the face in a moment. We need some vassals, I feel.
Hven1611. Boo, don't listen to that, YouTube boomers. What do you mean? Wait, what, what was said? Brothers, we must vote for Mastery of Nature, says Lilypad Frogs on Twitch. Total Twitch votes for Mastery of Nature, one. Um, I'm not saying you, you failed at the politics, but you didn't win at the politics. That's that, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, <clears throat> uh, on YouTube, 36% Imperial Prerogative is the winner. Second place, we've got Grass Avoid, Mastery of Nature, and Consecrated Worlds at 20% apiece. Lobbying is, of course, open if you want to lobby for one side. Um, like goal reach. Oh, we did hit 420 likes. Ladies and gentlemen, blaze. The next goal is going to be a little different. Now all I ask is 666 of your finest likes. Let's bring that a little closer. There we go. Excellent. Are those still readable? I don't know. Stop the count. Consecrated Worlds is ahead on, twi on Twitch. <laughs> Shout Sven. Oh, goodness. Aid the rebels. No, we're not going to do anything because look how expensive that is. That would just cripple us. No. Watch and learn. Oh, drop something. We're going to try and upgrade the Deneb people. Anomalies are give free tech, though. Remember, they're only scaled by your tech production. So whilst they are more valuable, you're not making more tech. So, eh? Let's run out of gene clinic. Have we got enough to force them to surrender? Yeah, achieve war goals. Give me my free stuff. Excellent. Didn't I claim some other... Oh, I just claimed the capital, did I? Fair enough. We have a new world. Yadra. Aren't they from Yadra? Isn't this their capital? Yeah, 40 pops. Oh yeah, it seems right. Let's... Uh, let's launch an anti-crime campaign. As an opening salvo. We'll build a hollow theater and some more housing. Because, you know, we, we want to bring them help. We're, we're here to help. We're here to help. No, nope, go away. Right, you folks. Uh, what can we have? We'll take the capital. Yeah, we'll take the capital, and then we'll take everything else. Why not? It's a tough old game. <laughs> no. Here's Oskilia. We've only got two officials, so if I get a third one, we should be good. Oh, what? All about... No, 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 no. Uh, residents? Yeah. No, I know it's going to trigger an issue. Give me a second game. I know, I know, I know. I just... I don't want any of these leaders. Ugh. No, I want I want proper leaders. I want our leaders. Disgusting. I already have luxuries distributed. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like we're going Imperial Prerogative. It won on Twitch and it won on YouTube. So, there we are. Where are you, Imperial Prerogative? Minus 50%. 
empire size from planets and plus two governing officials. Meh. Yeah. What to take next? What should we take next? Is this Grand Admiral? It's Grand Admiral. It's mid-game scaling with the mid-game at year 75, so we're technically at the moment halfway to Grand Admiral. Rumble stuff just gifted five subs. Am wow, amazing. Well, thank you very much. Um, welcome, new subs. Don't forget to join the Discord server and get your stuff. Right, let's uh, complete 15 Twitch subs. Done. That means the goal is now at 20 subs. And that means Twitch is ahead of YouTube in completing their sub goal. Well done, Twitch. As ever, you're uh, out-competing your YouTube fellas. Uh, fellas and females. Women? I don't know. 19% for Consecrated Worlds. Yeah, they wanted us to crash and burn. Enmity. No, we're not doing that. Maybe we should put a poll up. Put a poll up. What could we have? What could we have? Aptitude could be okay. Um, Harmony could work as well. Not, I mean, it's not amazing, but it could work. And I will also throw Mercantile into that mix. Let's throw the same chat. Let's throw the same option up on YouTube, on Twitch even. Why statecraft first? Because statecraft gives us bonuses to our uh, experience and agenda speed, so we can push through agendas faster. And look out! Look, we're at level year thirteen. We're at level five. All six across the board. This Isildur only came in later. Oh, and it's volatile. Ugh. Ugh. But still. Mercantile is winning. Oh, goodness me. Mercantile is winning 34% on YouTube, 50% on Twitch, 57%. Now, though, second place is Aptitude with 29% on YouTube and Enmity. En 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 N, N, it is enmity, isn't it? Isn't it enmity? Have I, have I done it wrong again? I'm on to... It is enmity. Yes, good. Um, oh, that's bad. Anyway, uh, that's in second place on Twitch with 35%. You can still lobby. Statecraft is a very good early choice. Yes. Uh, and it also makes the agendas last longer. Just, yeah, there's so many good things about it. Let's split up. Come to Papa. Come on. Come on, little aliens. Get smacked in the face. Uh-oh. They ran right into our ships, and our ships are twice as good as theirs for reasons I don't even know. I don't know why our ships are twice as good. Probably because the Admiral's here giving an extra 15% fire rate, maybe. Plus, we do have the bonuses from Supremacy, so that's 10% there. You know, quite a few little bits and pieces. All right, we now have... Housing is fine. We should really build a civilian industries, though. And I'm going to turn this into a factory world. Quantum energy states and some other thing. Cool. Oh, blue laser! Oh, also, just realized we can clear the tunnels. Which means we might actually grow our first pop here. <laughs> Look how slow it's been. Oh, my goodness. Oh, while we're at war, our pop growth speed is massively nerfed, isn't it? I forgot about that. That's awkward. Good night, Gestalt.
We'll get ready to attack, but we won't go in yet. They do have 1.7k there, so we'll we'll hit them with a two-pronged assault. They'll never see it coming. I could get terraforming, but I think actually I'm going to go with Colonial Central. 150 months! Oh my god. Oh, a total revolution. That sounds bad for them. I hope they... I hope the landed nobility do okay in their Steam Age revolution and they end up still pacifist and xenophile. Uh, yeah. Infinite opportunities, I guess. Oof. 50%. Have they still got the negative modifier? No, they haven't. Okay. Okay. Fair. Aptitude is now 50-50 with, uh, with Mercantile on YouTube, but Aptitude is ahead 49-33 to 33 against Mercantile on Twitch. So at the moment, Aptitude is winning. If you want Mercantile, you will have to lobby for it, it looks like. Oh, did they come and fight us? I didn't even notice. Oh, they must have done. Yeah, they killed a couple of ships. Oh, well. Have our ships upgraded now to have the blue laser? Oh, good, they do have blue lasers. Excellent. Oh, look at that. 25% habitability. These worlds are not filled with morons anymore. Woodmancy throws in for Harmony. Woodmancy, you madman. So Harmony's now in first place on YouTube, but it is in last place on Twitch. Twitch has had 50 votes. Twitch is finished now. I will leave the lobbying open at the moment. I think Aptitude is going to win, but I haven't done the maths yet. It looks like it's going to be time for Monster to get out of his calculator and do a little bit of mathematics. He is a mathemagician after all. They shift to egalitarian. Wait, what? Fine. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. YouTube has a hunt has had 196 votes though, so it is kind of heavily weighted. It looks like nobody wants to lobby, so I will close the YouTube poll and start doing the calculations. If somebody lobbies. While I'm doing it, I will include it. Uh, so on YouTube at the moment, winning with 38%, oh no, winning with 35% is Harmony. So 0.35 times uh, 196 votes. Let's just drop the speed down for a moment. It will drop the speed so everything goes fine. <laughs> what busy comes in with more harmony? I hadn't even finished the... One minute then. All right, sorry. 0. 0.45 times 196. No, no, CE that. 0. 0.45, 45% times 196. So the standardized version of that is 88.2. Um, plus the... Where was Twitch? Fallen Angel shouts at 20. To, so Merc well, we'll, we'll come, Mercantile's just had a plus 20 bonus. So it looks like Mogatown might be winning. Uh, let me see the poll results. View results on Twitch. We had 23... Uh, what's that? Uh, 40, uh, 23, 33, 39, 40, 47. Okay. 47 times 0.2. No. 0 0.02. Yeah, so that's 80... That's 89.14. Then for Mercantile on uh, on Twitch, we had... 
15%. Uh, no, we had 34%. People are dying. Things are happening. But I'm doing the numbers, damn it. Uh, and I said that was uh, 47, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Okay, 15.98. Plus on YouTube, we had... Ba, 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 mercantile, 48%. Uh, 0.48 times by... 196 110.06 yeah that uh, that does mean mercantile wins the day as long as it's not aptitude at this point well it's mercantile there we are we are now a mercantile nation the space lanes run red with the blood of mercantiles or uh, i don't know uh, right, you need another one of those. Trade route. Yeah, you go back. This way. Is the game so far stable? I've not had any issues yet. But that doesn't... We're not in multiplayer, so... Ministry of Truth... Sauron needs you to have a Ministry of Truth immediately. Oh, they're subterranean. That's a shame for them. Let's build up a big army again, and we'll go and hit someone else in the face. Perfect. No issues yet. That's, that's very true. That is very true. Oh, we're running out of food. That's bad. Uh, aren't we building more food on Osgiliath? Yeah, the, the, the farms of Osgiliath will, will save the day. What's our subjugation policy? Benevolent. Oh, gosh. Yeah, no, let's move over to balanced. Thank you very much. I will stay on rapid deployment. I'm happy with that. Do we have anything else I want to turn on? No, not really in terms of edicts. It is what it is. Look east to the farms of Osgilia, says Plains Fox. Well, they're kind of west, aren't they? They are west. We've got our mortar over here. Uh... All doing good. Deneb, Deneb, what are you doing, Deneb? Ooh, another first contact. We should probably improve relations. Oh, they're loyal immediately. We can learn 4, 1, and 5. And yeah, do it, do it, do it. How much trade are we making? 179. Okay. So I think what we really want right now is marketplace of ideas. The extra 30 unity. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. You can come up here, maybe kill some stuff. Are we going to go over to belligerent? No, I don't. I think we might actually go to cooperative. Nah, let's go to belligerent. Yeah, screw it. <gasps> A box trait. Dock ship upkeep. So as you see, the logistics traits here goes down to minus 5% when you're docked, whereas before it was 5% forever. I think that's a good improvement, actually. It means you can still use it and get it to work, but it's not kind of, it's not everything. Oh, we won. Yes, good. Um, excellent. Uh, we need more food. And we probably need more f food. Yeah, more, more food, just kind of food all around. 
actually, I'm gonna re I'm gonna throw down uh, uh, one of those there. We'll launch an anti-crime campaign. Oh no, they lost a, an employed pop. That's such a shame for them. Uh, and then we bring everyone back. Probably this way. Yeah, we'll kill those on the way. Why are we bringing them back? Because we've got one more vassal to add to our collection. Their capital is unstable. Why is it so unstable? Oh, minus three house. Build more housing. Why are you being an idiot? I don't understand why they're being idiots. Right, terms of negotiation. We'll change that. We'll give them more sensors. Uh, take a little bit of that. Do they make any research? No, they don't. We're not going to give them any research. I think we'll just change it to this. That's a fair and equitable agreement. If I do say so myself. What do we think of the difficulty adjusted technology cost slider? It's a new one that increases tech costs based on your difficulty setting and says it affects the late game techs more. Hmm. I think it's interesting. I, I think it's a good idea. You can always set it to normal and kind of ignore it. So it's not the worst thing ever. Savannah world, yeah, I've got that. Have we still not done Chores Compass? Oh, come on. Do the compass. Something like that is probably good. Yes. Okay, happy with that. And we're getting some pop growth here, so that's all right. The capital could have more things on it. Let's put some more things down. Um, ooh, uh, yeah, let's get another trading district. And <laughs> there's year 37. We now can research destroyers, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of scholariums. Yeah, I think maybe we'll make these folks a scholarium. They're kind of doing all right with tech, I think. We'll, we'll have to look in a moment. Okay, that's... Good. Plus 5% researcher upkeep. Ugh. I thought they'd gotten rid of those things. That's kind of annoying. Is Corvette Rush back on the menu? Absolutely. I mean, look, we, we, we've just thrown Corvettes out and we've stomped everybody hard. Uh, it's not Grand Admiral no scaling, but I think even if it was, what are they going to do? Seriously, what is the AI going to do? Probably nothing. I'm going to grab those. I think. We want this empire to exist. We just don't want it to be very big.
I think they should have removed all the upkeep increases. Yeah, I, I have to agree there. That seems like a reasonable thing to say. Oh, I should have set a new goal on Twitch because I actually wrote it down but didn't set it. So that is 210. There we are. Oh, and we've had it. We had a new YouTube member. Yes, we did earlier. We're meaning with four members away. Awesome. But here's our little section of the galaxy where everything is good and righteous. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's going fine. We basically have sniped everybody's capitals, is, is what we've done for five years here. It's not. It wasn't the nicest maneuver, but it was necessary. Don't we have more than one? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay. It was a sacrifice where I was willing to make. Yes, our Mordor is beginning to sh take shape. I wish I could rename um, people that were our vassals. That'd be cool. Like in single player. In multiplayer, sure. I get it. Don't want to rename someone else's empire. But in single player, I think it'd be fun. We'll get a trade value from clerks. Why not, lol? Okay. Oh, they really are not happy here. Huh. Oh, we can get another official, though. That's fine. Let's do that. What? Those... How are they... How have they produced leaders? Oh, because they're external recruitable leaders. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, here's our leaders. Yeah, crap. You're good. Excellent. Excellent. Infinite opportunities is done. So we can... Oh, no. We can't. Are all the star bases connected to trade routes? Some of them aren't. I mean, the ones over here are. The new one we grabbed is not, but I mean, it's not a great star base. Which way would it go if it was going back to the capital? Yeah, it goes this way. Yeah. There's going to be some piracy problems, I'm telling you. Oh, we met the Caravaneers. Oh, maybe I can get the Galatron. I've, we're in... We're, are we in Iron Man mode? Was Iron Man... Can someone go back in the stream and tell me if Iron Man mode was turned on? We're not in Iron Man mode. I can't get an achievement. Well, my goal for today is now impossible thanks to my own stupidity. Excellent. I guess we'll just go to war. That'll make me feel better. Ah, well. You win some, you lose some. In this case, we uh, we lost some. We failed at the first hurdle. Yeah, we did. Yeah, that's... Um, oh. Which means, of course, you will get the Galathron now. Yeah, so it means I can't roll for it. I can't roll for it because I'll get it, and that would just be diabolical. There you go, have 750 alloys. That way you'll love us. Oh, the Blessed Grawflout State decided they didn't want to have that agreement with us anymore. Oh no! What are we gonna do? Did we just get a new commander? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good commander to have. Do they not even have a fleet? 
They don't have they don't have a fleet. Ugh, all right. Let's deal with the revolt. Thirty unity. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. Oh, we found their fleet. There's that one ship they have. Good for them. I didn't notice it was turned off. That's my bad. That is my bad. That, that that's very much a that's a, that's a me mistake. I, you know, I'm not going to hold chat responsible. to there and put them together. I don't think there's enough. Oh, it's going backwards now. Perfect. We put, we, we, we're suppressing the revolt with martial law. Take that. Why is it going down so fast? So we've got just such a massive garrison strength now that they can't help, can't help themselves. What? Did Tom Bombadil die? We, we lost Tom Bombadil. No! Oh, I wasn't paying attention and Tom Bombadil just replaced Sauron as, a, as our Maya? Oh my lord. That's pretty funny, actually. That's that's definitely very funny. <laughs> so, uh, the new Maya in charge is Tom Bombadil, who's not a Maya, but, um, great. Excellent. That's, that's, oops. Yes, Tom Bombadil is now in charge of Mordor. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 I have no I have no issues with this. None no issues. Uh, chat, you haven't you don't have any issues with this, do you? No. Why would you have any issues with this? It's perfect. Everything's going great. It's a great, great. Time to start building ranger lodges. Yeah, I think it might be. So what do we, I think maybe we have to get rid of... I mean, with Tom Bombardier in charge, do we have to get rid of mining guilds and replace it with environmentalist chat? Do we have to do that? I will put a poll up. That is a good shout. Hmm. We just became the good guys, did we? Did we? Uh, let's go with... No, I want the star basics, actually. Star bases. Give me star bases. Why have they not surrendered yet? Well, I've got all the claims. All right, we'll just go and take everything else then. And Consecrated Worlds is back on the menu, boys. Oh no, Woodman see no, no. Why?
What's the name of an Easterling city? Hithlum. Okay, here we go. So that should be the run sector. Let's go do that. So far, it's quite close, actually. Twitch is saying no, but YouTube is saying yes. Not that many votes on Twitch, but there are 60, 60 votes or so on YouTube, so it's uh, it's a close one. Yeah, we'll just convert them over into a Scalarium. Thank you. all of the capitals perfect yeah it's quite it's quite annoying how low stability is here really hmm yeah quite annoying actually We are the superior representative chamber of this here collective. No, no, there's just been more votes there. Tw uh, Twitch has voted now 11 votes and 75% are saying no. So, yeah. Oh, there were aliens. Oops. Let's turn this to a tech world. Otherwise, I think we're all kind of good. Yeah, why are they so unhappy? Is it happiness? Yes, they're unhappy because of happiness. Oh, probably because the faction that they are part of hates us. Why is the Church of Aru Luvatar so grumpy? they're not represented on the council. Oh yeah, that would do it, wouldn't it? Do we have anyone that could take up one of these spots? Not really. Could throw Gorbag in. No, I don't want to. Just keep your low stability. They don't get 11 Cs, that makes them grumpy. I mean, possibly. Twitch has now voted with 24 votes in total, 88% saying no. YouTube is 55 to 45. I think that means Twitch is going to swing it, so no in total wins at the moment. Which means even though Tom Bombadil is now in charge, we won't be changing mining guilds to environmentalism. Because reasons. He, he likes the fires of industry. And there we go. There is the win. Let's remove some of those star bases. We don't need them. Uh, yeah, we'll coexist with the amoebas. Oh, we did build the alloy thing. Oh, good. Uh, right, let's grab... Oh, Neil's just thrown in with yes. The Twitch has finished now. 89% on Twitch. 
Neil throwing with uh, a, a 10 towards yes on YouTube. So well, let's end the YouTube poll. I will leave the lobbying open while I do the numbers. YouTube has ended with a total of 63% saying yes, 46% saying no of 126 votes. So, 126 times point, uh, 63 plus. Give me results of the poll. Plus 0.89 times 27. 103.41. Remember that number, chat. Hey, it's our it's our standardized normalized votes. Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's the standardized normalized votes. I, I don't know what your issue is, Woodman. See, it's a it's a clear and normal way of counting voting weight. 103.41 standardized normalized votes. It's a it's a thing. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> then we have a 0.46 for no on YouTube times 126 plus. 0.89 times 27 on Twitch. 81.99 storm normalized standardized vote. So, um, so what actually we can do here? What we could do here is do. So to give you an actual number, just for those of you that want a num want a number, just so you can understand how it all boils out at the end of the day. Fifty with those extra bonuses, fifty-five point seven eight percent of the vote was for uh, was for yes, and therefore forty-four point uh, two two percent of the vote was for no. There we are. If you want it in a proper percentage, there we are. But anyway, here we go. We're reforming the government. Mining guilds is gone. Where are you? Environmentalists is in. And we have to completely reformat our council. Edistari, Chief Belro Balrog, nice fellow, and uh, First Warden. The nominated Goldberry. Huzzah. Right, let's see if we can get somebody spiritualist. Oh, fooey. Oh, fooey. Right, that's, uh... That's not really gonna be possible. Why can't you... I want this one. Why can't I nominate that one? Oh, because they're busy doing a project. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, well, I guess... I guess I'll do that. And Gothmog, of course, can retake their position. Is this a galactic doorstop run? No, it is not a galactic doorstop run. Would Tom actually care about being in charge? No, not really. Tom doesn't really... I think Tom's going to leave again momentarily, you know, off to merry about. And we'll, of course, give them some alloys or something. Make them super happy with us. Yep. There you go. Eat some alloys. Aha! Finally. We have a nominated gold berry. Mm, ooh. Well, I guess I'm still going to go with... Oh, 86. No, not 86 months. No, I'm not doing 86 months. 288 research in year 44. I mean, what do we need research for? We are the lords of the universe. All bow down before us. Let's just send out the science ships to explore.
Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. Oh, Hitler is still not having a good time. Um, what could what could make your lives better? How about a ra no, not a Ranger Lodge. You could have a Ranger Lodge, though. Yeah, you could have a Ranger Lodge. You'd love it. You've got seven blockers. Oh, eight blockers. A Ranger Lodge it is. Look at this. It's all coming up Ranger Lodge. Why is YouTube having a problem? It's fine on my end. Huh. Greenpeace playthrough 2.0 says chat. Maybe. 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 Minus 39 from 10% pop approval. How do we make them love us more? Well, they're going to get happier soon. TM. Uh, should we change the living conditions? No. No, that's stupid. Maybe we change their living conditions to basic subsistence. Because that's going to give us a massive increase to the ruler. They do get lower happiness. Ugh. Well, we'll leave it for now. I'm sure they'll work themselves out. You get an upgrade, and you get an upgrade. Land and land. We need more armies here for it all kicks off again. Yeah, we've made it into a bit of a fortress now. If it all kicks off, we'll stop it immediately. I mean, none of this is great. I guess I'll just go with military build up. Mandatory, no, we have, we're not doing mandatory chemical bliss. This is not that run. This is not that run, okay? What we can do, however, is design a cool new class of ship. I call them... The Urukai. Yeah, now we're getting Urukai, Woodman See, Now we get it. They are our fighting Urukai. They will not know pain, they will not know fear. They will taste man flesh. Shipwright is now entirely pointless. Never take shipwright. Never take it. Like 5% ship build speed, go away. Go away. Go like no. What why? No, why no? No. Oh, we got a culture worker, even though we can't have culture workers. That's fun. Has anyone met people that we don't know about? Oh, yeah, they don't want to do anything with us, do they? Of course not. We have a Scalarium. Maybe we should make these folks a Prospectorium, but I don't want to lose the research. No, I don't fancy it.
Yeah, I think we'll be good. Take the trade value. Keep going. Destroyer only run. Yes. No, I mean, so far we're doing um, uh, Corvette run. Basically. Oh, there's aliens down here. I see. Oh. One pop. Subterranean. Banathurians. Right, right. They look like they need our help. The dwarves. We found the dwarves. Uh, I'm going to take Ion Thrusters so we can upgrade our v Vilya and uh, Nenya. Yeah, that's a good plan. Yeah, Zrycom, yeah, I've stacked a lot of agenda speed and I I'm I'm running out of agendas too. We're doing it in 60 months, so that's that's what, five years per agenda? No, 70 or 80 months, but yeah, but it's around five years per agenda. Or awkward really, isn't it? I think we should go for shared destiny next. Shared Destiny Ascension perk? Yes, yes. Hey, we weren't not Saruman earlier. We were not Sauron. Oh, you said not Sauron. There was a sorry, I couldn't see that. Why is Tom Bombadil in charge? It's all about the, the pipe weed for him. He, he didn't want to be in charge. Sauron got kicked out for reasons we're still trying to fathom. And uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's here now. He's, conf he's as confused as the rest of us. Uh, otherwise, everything's kind of healthy. We are kind of healthy across the board. Healthy, healthy, healthy. We can, of course, turn on an edict. Forgot about that. Let's go with mining sub. Uh, no. Oh, they're very expensive, aren't they, actually? Um, turn off veneration of saints. Go with capacity subsidies. I will put that down. The Ranger... I love Ranger Lodges. <laughs> They're so crap, but so hilarious. We're getting a tiny amount of um, energy minerals and then three... Three... Uh, 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 three society research. Gee, those would be cheaper with Mastery of Nature. Yeah, they might be, all right. They might be, okay. I think they are now happy with the fact they were invaded. Yeah, good. We're all good there. Suppress the prosperity people. Oh, we're on na low naval capacity usage. That's bad. Uh, get rid of that. Good. We're all good. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at our year 50 level 2 lasers on destroyers. Who who could stop us now, eh, chat? No one, I tell you. No one could stop us now. Unstoppable. <laughs> who are you playing as? What's the origin? We are the Lords of the Ring. Is our ring our shattered ring world origin? We, um, we're kind of in charge of stuff. We started off with Sauron, oh, sorry, uh, Myron, who kind of revealed themselves to be Sauron. Now Pom Tom Bombadil's become the top Maya, so it's, uh, it's cheeky. Did we roll a precursor? No, we haven't even rolled a precursor. Uh, yeah, that was something. Oh, that's a very handsome devil. Well, you know what? No, we don't want to trade a pop, actually. No, I, I take that back. We 
You need zero point power to get the malfunctioning reactor out of the way. Yeah, okay. Did the new patch happen? Yes, this is in the new patch. We're in patch 3.11, Lothar. Exactly. Is research that slow now? Yeah, so... Like... Base cost there is 8,000, plus the 50% we're getting for being 300 empire size. If anything, this is a big nerf to wide. Tall is easier to play now than ever before. Um, this used to be 6,000, it's now 8,000 cloning. Or was it even four or 5,000? I can't remember. Let's go and buy some caravan coins, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to go gambling. The reliquary contained a bomb. They gave us a bomb. <laughs> Excuse me. I can't believe they gave us a bomb. That's so rude of them. Oh, here we go. New friends. Excellent. Are they pathetic compared to us? They're hostile. Interesting. Interesting. That's kind of a good sign so far. Uh, ooh, UV lasers. Yeah, I think I'll take that. Does the check change? Uh, does the check change make the game last longer? The game, sorry, does the game? Does the tech change make the games lag longer or uh, last longer? It is last longer. The heart means I can't see what's on there. Um, sorry, I don't know why that is, but it's annoying that YouTube does that. Does it make it last longer? Oh, I mean, this is the first time I'm playing, really. So, I don't know. That plus thirty percent to UV lasers. Don't mind if I do. It definitely means being an alloy monkey is just better. Just straight up better. Alright, we are figuring things out about them. We're going to get up to... Oh no, it's going down. Oh, that's annoying. Twenty-five times crisis is still an option, um, Ghosty Fish. Uh, do you think it'll be beatable with these harsh tax tech costs? Um, yeah, but probably not as early as people used to beat it. Right, I'm taking shared destiny. It's happening. Make your peace with it. I'm gonna set up an aid agency. on both worlds. These are a tiny nation, so I'm going to make them a bulwark because it will cost us basically nothing. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, and they'll love us for it. Brilliant. I got new land for my empire. Should I use it to make alloys or to appease political parties and get better tech? Why does my dictatorship have more than one party? So those are factions, not parties. In a democrat, in the dictator system, think of it as like the factions within your government. These factions don't necessarily represent direct political parties. In a democracy, maybe they do, but here they're, they're more factions than, than anything else. peace and order movement this oh they're authoritarian um 
I'm going to call these folks the Sauron Appreciation Movement. <laughs> this is going to be the Elvish Front. The Dwarvish Realms. Orcs for fighting. This is that, yeah, and the Orcs for fighting party. There we are. Perfect. The Church Lovers, the White Council are all good. I mean, I'll take the free influence if you want to give it to me. Okay. Oh, one month on that one. Yes, please. Some of these are so expensive. I'll take the afterburners for the reroll, I think. You are pretty cool. But I don't think we're going to sonically ascend. Oh, go on. Go on, then. Ship build speed. Ship build cost plus 5%. What? What? <laughs> it's gone the wrong way. We've gone up in ship build costs. I've never had that in a game. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now costing us it's now costing us more to build ships than it did when the game started. I I I I yes. That's a thing that's happening right now. We are storming through. We're doing fine with traditions. Yeah, 53 traditions on normal is, is okay. Three tr complete traditions. Are they ready to talk to us yet? No. How much would that cost? 2.25 influence? No, not worth it. Sorry. It's not worth it to be influency with you. I reckon these folks would probably make... Oh, they're, they're maybe they're equivalent to us. Okay. Ah, no, we're 194. No, they're probably not equivalent. They're great, but they're just not that great. Shouldn't we get rid of the shipbuilding cost both ways? Probably, Neil. Probably. Yeah, it would feel bad if they left in all the negative counterparts. I think maybe this one's been overlooked, but yeah, it kind of sucks a little. Ooh, yeah, space torpedoes. Space torpedoes is still pretty cheap. So, dragon slaying is 100% achievable in the current patch. Docked ship upkeep. I think I'll take it. Should have plenty, yeah, plenty of governing attraction to our main ethics. Not that much to our other stuff. Sounds good. Sounds good. Orcs for fighting are pretty happy with us. They wish we'd use all our nav cap, though. I get that. I get that. That's that's a reasonable request. Let's give them what they want. Darkness, welcome to priest. Darkness. Okay, fair enough. Cool. Welcome, though. Um. Oh, hey, look, I'm green again. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Where did Sauron go? 
Is Sarah just kind of like biding his time and licking his wounds? Oh, there we go. Let's put Sauron in charge of a fleet. Am I spelling Baradur right? Is it one word? No, it's two. Baradur is two words, yeah. I thought so. There should be a hyphen, shouldn't there? Yeah. The host of Baradur. And this can be... Was it called Gundabad? I can't remember what that place was called. Ooh, self-evolving logic. Take that. Uh, more food, though. Yeah, go on. They are equivalent to us in all metrics. Bizarre. Oh, no, we have more fleet than them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can kick the crap out of them if we want to. If we want to, which we probably do, don't we? Probably do want to kick the crap out of them. Let's build a starport here when we have the alloys. This looks all very good. Very happy with this. Stability is being brought up from the soldiers, so it's all excellent. Is this on standard research cost? Yes, this is the standard base game settings. The only things we changed is kind of like when, when the mid game is, I brought it forwards a bit. I increased the crisis times, that kind of stuff. Nothing too crazy. What are we going to do for our next tradition, folks? Any thoughts? Any thoughts, chat? Don't forget to turn on edicts before you go to war. What edicts? Honestly, what edicts? You think we've got rare resources yet? Like, we're, we're not that far in. We don't have rare resources unlocked. Uh, I don't. Let's go for Starhold. 42 months because it's 12,000 research. Prosperity. Natara Prosperity. Have you seen what they've done to Prosperity? The finisher is now no longer plus 5% resources from jobs. It's minus 10% station upkeep. They've swapped the 5% specialist jobs to 5% resources from jobs. So, bleh. Bleh. Politics. Possibly. Unyielding. I could see that. Subterfuge. I mean, could be cool. We can't get uh, politics because there's no Galcom formed yet. That's the only issue with that idea. That's fine. Um, subterfuge. Unyielding. We could do domination is also bad. Now, well, it's bad if you're not a slaver because the opener is slave resource output and political power. I can't make slaves. I'm a xenophile. So why would I ever take domination? Half of the domination tree is now slavery, slavery. Huh? Seriously, huh? Huh? Montu can only do so much on one time's research. Thank you, Michael Alexander. Thank you. I mean, we've, we've basically conquered everyone we could find. That's got to count for something, right? And we're slowly making them into our bitch. Yeah, here they are. The rest, they are slowly becoming our bitch. Got cloning. Uh, ba, ba, ba. 
Go for the low cost option. I'm hearing unyielding being shouted. I'm hearing. Un Let's start the poll then. And I'm going to throw a harmony in the mix, I think. Yeah. There we go. That sounds like a good, a good fun set. Subterfuge, Unyielding, and Harmony. Votes are on your screen now. Oh, we've met someone. And we've... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Well, not fair. We lost our good scientist. I hate when the leader rule pool refreshes and gives us one scientist. Honestly, when that happens, I, I feel like hitting my head against a brick wall sometimes when that happens. Ah, the Matok. Maybe we can make them like us. <clears throat> so at the moment, Harmony's winning on YouTube with 37%, and on Twitch it's a 50-50 split, 40% apiece to Subterfuge and Harmony. Why is... Why are these his options? Uh, eh? Ooh, Abzizians on Nenya. Yes, they will make excellent laborers. What we do with the Abzizians is Nenya business. But um, Tish. Give me chat. <coughs> Little cough. The 50 years in, are you feeling the patch at all? So, I mean, I mean, I, I kind of like some aspects of it. I like that tech is slower in, in some ways. But in other ways, I'm a bit like, eh? It is, we are quite a bit slow. I mean, I, I conquest-wise, everyone else is kind of struggling as well, so we're able to smack them in the face pretty easily. Could view that as a plus, I suppose. Enforced harmony is still harmonious. Wandering to rule them all clearly implies harmony. Very true. What setting do you put the tech difficulty cost adjusted to? Normal. Everything is uh, is the default setting, except we increase the crisis strength a bit. Um, that kind of thing. Didn't do that much. Abandoned colony ruins. Wait a minute. No, no, that's not what I thought it have we, is that our... Is that the Grenur? Oh, we, we've got the Grenur. Have we got the Grenur? Oh, hello. Hello, Grenur. Don't hate that, if that's the case. I don't hate that at all. We still don't have any better... Um, yeah, our detection tech doesn't really exist, so we don't have any better detection. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness me. No, oh, sorry, I meant Zroni. I meant Zroni. That's a good point. Sorry, yeah. I meant, why did I say Granola? I did mean Zroni. At the moment, Harmony's winning on Twitch with 55% of 11 votes, and on YouTube with 39% of 88 votes. Don't forget to cast your vote, ladies and gentlemen. Cast your vote. Every mo vote, um exists yeah. don't forget that all of our researchers are making a lot less research because they're making a base of three now and those technologies that used to give plus 20 percent research don't exist they simply do not exist so it's actually quite hard to boost your research output I should probably replace this guy with the scientist. So 
for the research from jobs increase. If this is a research world, which it is. Uh, yeah. Harmony Unyielding are now neck and neck on YouTube, but on Twitch, Harmony is winning with 62%. So if they stay neck and neck, Twitch is going to carry it through and pull Harmony into the lead. Uh, don't forget... <clears throat> don't forget, you can lobby. So, uh, uh, one... Oh, we, we, Twitch is finished, uh, but YouTube can lobby. One dollar is uh, of Super Chat is 1% of the vote. At the moment, Harmony's won on Twitch with 64% of 14 votes on YouTube. Neck and neck harmony and yielding with 37, 38% apiece. So, there we are. Oh, Tom Bombadil, an investor, architectural sense, frontier spirit. I'm going to go with reformer. Oh, everyone hates us. Brilliant. And we probably don't want to go back into this system. Let's just clear that out. It feels like with research slowdown and fleet upkeep build nerfs, the late game fleet boat, the late game fleet bloat may not be so bad. Yeah, I think I think that could be an accurate comment. Yeah, yeah, it could help with late game fleet boat. Right, let's end the poll there. Unyielding has won on YouTube with thirty nine percent, but it's so close to the thirty seven percent for Harmony that means with the Twitch votes, Harmony gets the day. Boom, Twitch, you carried it. We'll grab mind and body. Make sure Tom Bombadil and Co. don't die of old age. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait, our primary species... Oh, I'm such a fool. Our primary species is venerable. <laughs> Silly me. Well, that wasn't necessary, but we enjoyed it. More bits. Yay, harmony indeed. Capital is making a fair bit of trade value. Let's add a bit more in. We did it Reddit, says Jobberby. What do you mean, we did it Reddit? Do I think the sus subscription is worth it? Ooh, that's a very interesting question. Um, I'm thinking about making a video covering that tomorrow. But long story short... I think it's great as an offering for new players if they want to come in and try out the full game. The issue, of course, becomes if you get stuck on the subscription, you're going to be po possibly playing, paying more. But, I mean, EU4 have it. Um, it was a little bit controversial when it came in. I think, though, if you want to come in, buy the game. So you can buy the base game when it's on sale for like $10. Then you could pay for one subscription of $10 and try the full game. The issue there is if you like it, like... Do you pay another month of subscription? Uh, you know, how often do you get it? If you play the game solidly for like a few weeks and then stop for a few months and then play, play again, then okay, you could unsubscribe for a bit. That that could be worth it, yeah. Uh, but I don't, you know, overall, not sure. Not sure it's going to be, you know, obviously worth it to people that have um, inner stability. Yes, please. Ooh. I think Driven Educator? Yeah. Kurumo is either a great re Driven Educator. Driven Educator. Oh, that's a bug. That's a bug. That. Oh, no. The ruler is giving us. Ah, oh, no, that's not a bug. The ruler's giving us plus 5%. Yeah, okay, so all the councils get 50% extra experience gain. That's fine. That's not a bug. Orcs for victory and now happy we're at high naval capacitage. Uh, capacitage? Capacity. Unsubscribe, says Montu. No, that's not quite what I'm saying, but, but yeah.
Why doesn't Monty use Tiny Outliner? Because not everyone uses Tiny Outliner, so if I used it, and I I tend to not use mods so that people can basically take my game, my gameplay, look at it, and then go home and just do it. There's no additional requirements, really. You don't have to figure out what to put in, what extra to add. It's just, just kind of easy. Okay, this all looks good. So we're unsubscribing. No, not like that, Woodman CGs. Montu likes to be relatable. Ooh, woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that wasn't what I meant, but all right, fine. 50 months for gas mining. Uh, yeah, okay. We've got leaders not doing stuff. I should probably put them to do stuff. Yeah, they should work. Everybody works. Nobody quits. Ah, the Avarian Galactic Empire. Authority of Polismus Prime. We're getting close to finding some people. Let's try and give them a trade deal before they hate us. Uh, there's some cash as well they got. Uh, oh, and an embassy. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Do not have... Oh, challenging. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, okay. When do I think I'll start building up research? I'm actually actively trying to push my research up slowly at the moment. Didn't I get new con- Oh, I did get new contacts. Great. Oh, they're you know, dismissive. Oh, we're locked behind. That's why we can't find people, because we're locked behind blooming aliens. Damn it. What I really want to be able to do here is put a module on to see stuff. Oh, we can, we can, oh, we, here we go. We, we're now going to go up to complete and fully being a 100% habitability cap that should make everything go quite a bit faster for those uh, for those places valinor is holding us back yes valinor is the problem this is clearly the rat this is clearly valinor who do they think they are is anything cheap nothing 65000 for that oh my goodness right okay um go with soil remediation what the, the, oh oh that's actually kind of bad because of how weak our navy is uh right where are they they're there which means they're probably gonna fly through this way so we should try and meet them off at the pass Somewhere here ish. I hope that works. Oh, 
14,000. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Right, we're going to go to hit and run. Turn on education campaign, because we can. Oh, jeez. Did, they didn't even try and talk to us. We're not even in the mid game. Why are they doing this? Who hurt them? I mean, you can come to Hitler if they think they're hard enough. Ranger Lodges are so terrible. Oh my goodness, they're so terrible. Oh. <laughs> Monta has turned into Morty. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, Morty. Banthurian League. Ooh. I'm going to vote no right now. But I'm just going to check what the claims are. In a moment, maybe. They're like, together we could defeat them. We've only got we've only got level one. Oh my goodness me. Oh some of this hurts. Some of this hurts. Eugene modded yourself into a pickle, Montu. Oh. Thanks, Masterfer. What difficulty is this? Grand Admiral mid-game scaling. We've basically hit the mid-game. Uh no, I think I said it's 2275, though it could be now as well. Ooh! Um, there's a Stellaris tournament happening this weekend as well, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Montu's Multiplayer Madness is returning for its 10th installment. Should be fun. If you want to sign up, go and do so now. You can do so on the Discord. If you want to play in the qualifiers and then possibly take part in the final. We're still looking for donations for, um, uh, for the prize pool. So if you'd like to donate, send me an email. Uh, MontuPlays at gmail.com if you'd like to donate any amount towards the prize pool. Because, you know, we're looking for... It's a community-driven event with community-driven prizes. So, you know, we like, we like having uh, the prizes for people. And that's only possible if the community donates. So, donate. I raised my fist. You couldn't see it. It's uh, off screen. Does that mean this version is stable? Um, not sure. Single player so far, there's been no crashes. But then... You know, there's not always crashes in single player all the time anyway. Harmony got a little bit better. Utopian Dream is now minus 10% planetary ascension cost. So that's something. Oh no, they're bombarding us from the space. Minimal shields. Yeah, lots of armor. So our lasers should do quite well, I'm hopeful. And they've got torpedoes. We can basically ignore the torpedoes. Let's do some more gambling. Come on, Reliquary. 33,500 research. I'll take that. I will take that. From the Marwia caretakers. 
Who are the Mawia caretakers? Oh, up here. Oh, yeah, okay. I see why people are running away from them. Gotcha. All right, let's have a go at these folks. Oof. Not going to go perfectly, but we will have a crack. Do we complete the gas? No, we still haven't done gas extraction wells. Oh, it's crippling. One man's trash is really good, Kiva. Really good. Uh, yeah, definitely. Wait, the Valion. That sounds suspiciously like Valinor. They stole some of our pops. Oh, well, did we end up with more pops? Hard to tell. Hard to tell. We've engaged them. Let's see if we can win. I think we're winning. I mean, we're a bit late to the show, but 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 we are here. No, we're losing. No, we're losing badly. Yeah. Let's just get out of there. Oh, but there's a lot of technology from that. That was a kind of a stupid play, but also a smart play at the same time. Because of all the tech. I'm just going to go and borrow some of that technology, if you don't mind. Okay, okay, okay. That was a lot of tech we got there, really. Are we winning, son? Says Big War. Big, big war in in Ingries. Ingries? I don't know what those. Your font is. Great, but I cannot read it. Technology is heresy. I mean, yes. Yes, that's not a lie. Oh, looks like Sauron's back in charge, baby. I think that means we're allowed to switch out of environmentalist. Let's see, what should we grab instead of environmentalist? I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Exalted Priesthood could be fun, but it's not great. Dimensional Worship. Death Cult. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, Crusader Spirit. No. Aristocratic Elite. Actually, let's go with Merchant Guilds. Let's go with Merchant Guilds. Heroic Pass for the Lotter theme. No, I... Hmm. Yeah, maybe. I, I can't, let's go with Merchant Guilds. Sarah's going to do it right this time. Chief... Whipper. Is that how you spell whip? Yes, here we are. Chief Whipper. Come on, you maggots. Tom Bombadil has now been employed as a Chief Whipper. <laughs> Whereas our nice fellow is Ulistar. Yes, this, that all seems fine. Oh, Gothmog's missing in action. Brilliant. Come on, you apes. You want to live forever. Why is our nav cap solo? Oh, is that because we don't have Gothmog?
Why has our nav cap gone so low? And why have we got... An oh, because... Oh, it's... Oh, Bowie. I hate when you end up with unemployed pops. It's the worst. Unemployment is the devil, I tell you. When when did he come back? Twenty two. Oh yeah, that's fine. Uh, Twenty two sixty five. Ugh. Well, we'll just wait. We're probably inferior now to... Oh, crap. Yeah, we're inferior now to our neighbours. That's not excellent. That's very much not excellent. Do we have Ancalagon the Black yet? No, I was going to go with a bigger ship for that. Add three spiritualist sonic pops to Nadia. What are they? Oh, random crap. Cool. I like random crap. If you have a random commander, throw them into a defensive slot so you don't have the nav naval capacity penalty. Uh, okay, I could do that. I've got lots of commanders. I just wanted, I wanted, I wanted, I, want, I didn't want the Bal Chief Balrog to be Glaurog. It needs to be Gothmog. It doesn't make any sense if it's not Gothmog. Uh, yeah, we'll just take all the science. That's good. Uh, right, yeah, we'll offer them societal guidance, provide technology, and form a commercial agreement. Come on, Codronites. We are your betters. Let us in. The Lords of the Ring are giving them tech. We a colossus named Grand would be excellent. Uh, I can't I can't disagree with that. Having unemployment on every world is, is deeply unpleasant. It's a deeply unpleasant state to be in, and it's not fair. We didn't do this. Year 65, no Galactic Council yet. Jeez. Jeez. Those folks are nice, yeah. Um, my spelling is not always perfect. Yeah, I'll just call that pal talk. I demand you destroy those imposter so-called Codronites. They stole our name. We cannot let that insult stand, says Kiva. 
Uh, well, we actually can't, you see, because we are fanatic xenophiles, so there's literally no way I could ever invade them. Um, I'd love to. I guess what we'll do is we'll uplift them and then we'll crush them. How does that sound? Does that fulfill the uh, requirements? 36,000 research for Galactic Administration. 36,000. 22 base plus 59% because we're at 400 empire size. Uh, ugh. Ugh. Why is Sauron a fanatic xenophile? I mean, when you think about it, Sauron is a fanatic xenophile. He wants every... No, Darkness. It's not Tom anymore. It's Sauron. Tom has been reassigned to be the chief whipper. And he's doing an excellent job, if I do say so myself. Wants to dominate all life. Yes, all life indiscriminately because he loves all life what a swell fella just an all-around stand-up guy you know the kind of guy you could invite over for a beer and just shoot the shoot the shoot the stuff with you know oh just yeah wonderful wonderful Sauron put a ring on so many people and he didn't discriminate. He put a ring on dwarves, even though they're short. He put a ring on elves, even though they're tall and pointy-eared weirdos. He put rings on men, you know? You wish to boot the snoot, says Mr. Clean. <laughs> Making leaders immortal is rough now. Well, we're actually not having a problem with that because we are venerable. So, yeah, the main issue we've got is recruiting new leaders some of the time. Uh, and oh, I will grab you. Yeah, that, that'll be a good leader to have. A racket was destroyed. That is a shame for them. We're going to open another reliquary. Pray for me, chat. Oh. Well, I mean, oh, no. We just hit our cap. Oh, phooey. That was useless. We've shifted the Codronite society to be a bit more... I don't think they shifted. That's a lie. And not just the men, the women and the children. Uh, yeah, wrong. you are right. That is the wrong franchise, isn't it? Is it? Oh, good. We can get, we can get uh, Gothmog back on his role as Chief Balrog. Oh, they declared us a rival too. Oh, goodness. Okay. So no one really likes us, even though we are great. <gasps> Why would you do this to me, game? So I'm going to take cruisers, but I kind of wanted all little habitats. Huh. Let's bring everybody back. Pull them back. We ordered them on Wish Kiva. <laughs> oh, yeah, those are the Wish Codronites. Actually, Saren had nothing to do with the making of the three. That's why they were wearable without going mad. Um, Didn't he? Didn't he? No, that's only the retcon in Rings of Power. Very good point. Very good point. He didn't, didn't he inspire Celebrimbor at all, though? Like, he didn't act directly make them, but didn't he inspire Celebrimbor, I'm feeling? Maybe I'm just wrong there, though. Hmm. We're making a lot of unity, and that means a lot of trade value. Should we go for an ascension path? Sauron did inspire. Yes, he did inspire, but that's not the same as making them, but... He definitely made the, um, the, the, 
the, the, the ones of the dwarves and the men though, didn't he? Should we take an ascension path, folks? Oh, your rings of power changed a bunch of random crap, didn't they? But he taught them how to make. Yes, he did. Yeah, Calibrero wasn't taught by him, so the rings he made were slightly less vulnerable to the one ring. I thought Calibrero was instructed, but they weren't directly made by Sarah. There seems to be a bit of an issue with the pops ascending to the higher levels at the moment. seems to be a slight issue. They don't seem to know where to go. Uh, and then we'll just grab all three of those. Yeah, good. If you wore ten of each rings of random order, what would happen? Uh, Mr. Clean, you, you'd probably explode. I second psionic for mind control. Ooh, good point. Though, yeah, we have the Zeroni, don't we? Yeah, let's... Should we go psionic? Psionic ascension. Should we do it? Should we have a poll? Let's have a poll. Of course, normal lobbying rules are in effect. One dollar on YouTube is 1% of the vote, and 100 bits on Twitch is some votes over there as well. It's now up. Vote away, ladies and gentlemen. Vote away. Uh, let's go with more research. We're actually starting to get somewhere a little bit with the research. Okay, yep, yeah, more anchorages, more... Duff. We're going to get back on top and overtake those fools because we're kind of slapped, being slapped about a bit here. These folks are cordial. Ah, they are vassals under the Matok. Hmm. I see. I see. More industrial districts. Good, good. The heart says genetic, says John Smith. Can one buy additional votes? Yes. Um, one dollar is one percent of the vote. You can lobby. At the moment on YouTube, genetic is winning 57%. Uh, sorry, psionic is winning 57%. Genetic is winning 26%. But you can lobby. On Twitch, Psionic is winning 73%, and then Cybernetic is at 17%. Genetic is in last place with no vote, so... Oof. Add fo Whoa, what is this? Concerning economic reports from Deniv 2B, where our merchants have been trading with Codronite civilization pre-FTLs. When the deal was signed, measures were put in place to ensure the sovereignty of the locals, but some of our own people are skirting the law to buy up vast quantities of land through local strawmen. At the current rate, within a generation, Den of Two will be wholly owned by private traders. Oh. Oh, we could. Oh, we could. 
we could do yeah i'm gonna we're gonna buy it oh oh sorry we bought oh we get an extra district so 26 districts on our lovely capital oh isn't that just a shame Those bastards, I'm in. <laughs> I, we, yeah, this is the East Deneb Trade Company now. Uh, let's look at the features. Yeah, foreign land holdings. Purchased by offworld investors, these lands are no longer accessible to the indigenous population. Awkward. A little bit awkward. Like, a little bit. I don't hate it completely, but I'm a bit like, ooh, maybe we shouldn't have done that. What did Sauron do before Sauron was Sauron? Wait. Sauron was chief supply officer on of Naria. All right then. Fair enough. Well, that's all right then. Manifest destiny and all that, says uh, the D&D &D potato. I mean, y yes. You're not wrong, are you? <laughs> Let's get rid of the migration controls. And then people can actually, you know, go around and do stuff. Ooh, Galcom! There we go. Finally, a community that we actually might enjoy. Oh, we could have another... Let's have another one there. Yeah, okay, there we go. So Sauron was a quartermaster, yes, basically. So, aha, uh Sionic has won on Twitch, and given we've had no lobbying, um, unless anyone's desperately in the middle of trying to lobby but failing, I'm going to end the poll. And let's shout now. You've got, like, ten seconds to go. Wait, right in chat, wait. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. No one said wait. We're ending the poll. And it looks like we are psionically ascending. 50% on YouTube, 65% on Twitch. Second place on YouTube was genetic. Twitch wanted something else. Time to put the mind over matter, methinks. We actually can't take it for our next tradition yet. But what we can do is take the mind over matter. 25 months for that agenda. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Get a couple of research complexes up and running as well, I think. And we are getting more bonus research from jobs there, so we're getting four per pop. Oh, crikey. Bantherian League versus the Authority of Polismus. It started. We just claim all their stuff. Because we can. Okay, and here we go. A bunch of people. One per. We met one person through Galcon. We sent Tom Bombadil in. That should just make us super Galcomy.
Yeah, I think Buzzword standardization is going to start us off. What do you mean you're waiting to be assigned? Agree, agree, agree. So with a new patch out, does that kill off our Thursday Night Jeff Empire? No, no, probably not. I might even roll back the patch to play that one if, if we want to do that. To roll it back, I mean. But you can't kill off Jeff. Jeff's immortal. Are we not getting any... Why is that not working? I can't unassign it. Ah, oh, yeah, I can. Here we go. Does that do anything? Can we not assign anyone to the Galcom now? Have they broken it? Is Galcom broken? I think Galcom's broken. Holy crap. We can't assign anyone to Galcom. Huh. Well, that's... Uh... Genius Armorer. Oh, yes. I love you, Gothmog. I love you. There is, the AI is proposing some random stuff. Yeah, we've got security contractors. No. Ready to shield. Yes. Cooperative research. Yes. We'll wait on the cruisers. 19 months. Not too long. Where's the Pangalactic Recycling Initiative? No, 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 no. Mega patch to correct everything Overlord on when. <laughs> yeah, um, they'll fix it all in the next patch, I'm sure. But look. Nobody seems to have any bonus here from assigning anyone to the Galcom. And when I assign them, it says waiting to be assigned. It doesn't... Galcom is broken. Galcom assignment is clearly broken. When I right... I, I can't even... Un, unassignment isn't working. I'm right-clicking. There we go. It takes ages. I don't know what is going on with Galcom, but Galcom is not working properly. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing. Huh. Well, I suppose we're still flying half a ship. Tom's works at his own pace. Yeah, okay. All right. Do we have another... Ah, yes, we do. Another Zeroni site. Let's go do it. Yeah, they do seem to like the Mercenary Resolutions more than Tianki, don't they? Uh, we've got, we have Pangalactic Recycling Initiatives up there. Galactic Market too, so we'll just push through the things we like. I assume the Gnogian, yeah, these are probably the advanced AI start. That advanced start probably has really helped them. Uh, yeah. Peacekeeper. Hmm. Uh, Grey Eminence or Master Bureaucrat. I think we'll go with Grey Eminence. Yeah, I'm unironically going Grey Eminence to reduce our Empire size effect by 10%.
Mm, you know, we are a little bit falling behind, kind of, in some places. Oh, wait, nano separators. We've got nano separators, but nothing else. Right, I see. Mm -hmm. Let's take that first, because we can instantly complete it. Then we'll grab some armor. Does anyone miss administrative office planets to reduce empire size? I kind of like, I do like empire size effect being the way it is. I, I can't lie. I, I don't hate this. Like this isn't the worst thing ever. Um... Yeah, let's make Baradur a tropical world, because why not? Okay. Spawned in and found out I was pinched by three purges. Ooh, that's not good, bleak living. That is, that is bleak. Is anyone miss Yeah, yeah. Uh, John says, I don't miss administrative uh, office planets. Having an entire planet just to manage empire size was a waste of pot. Uh, not just it was a waste of pops. It's like, what's the point in having a mechanic if you're just going to have a planet? It, just like having a tax to offset the mechanic? It, it, eh? Like, it, it, it was meant to... Oh, let's get rid of the nature preserve. It was meant to do more than it did, I think, is the point. How long would that take? 36 months. That's not too bad. I think that's the best option we have available right now, actually. I'm going to go for alloy nano plants. The only issue is, oh, uh, we, no, we can't actually build them. We can't build them. Have they improved this? Wait a minute. They've made it better. It used to be plus two. Now it's plus three alloys for metallurgists. That doubles the, that doubles the base production. Holy crap. They've made alloy nano plants better. What the heck? What the heck? Holy crap. We can reform the government as well. People are asking for Shadow Council. Yeah, let's have Shadow Council. Hidistari, Chief Balrog, nice fellow, and Chief Whip. Maybe that's to offset less ship build costs. Maybe, maybe. The problem is, I, I, I even doing that, I can't actually use it because I need the level one tech, and I don't have the level one tech yet. Uh, so it's kind of useless to me, actually, in a lot of ways. Let's go for the reroll instead. We do now have cruisers. Can't forget about our cruisers. There are tier 1 torpedoes and tier 2 missiles at year 60. Wow, this is this is one of the cruisers of all time. Um, no, what I should really do actually is build something that's pretty good. That will do.
Oh, wait a minute. I should have done Sonic Theory. That was a stupid. Do we have a Minus Morgul planet yet? No, we don't have a Minus Morgul. Uh, we probably should have one, shouldn't we? This can be Minus Morgul. Or Minus Ithil, depending on time of the year. You know, how, how close we are to it. Oh, don't do this to me, game. I'm gonna... I'm going to take habitats, but still 50 months for habitats. Jeez, jeez. We are saving up a lot of unity here. How should I manage planets on massive empires? I mean, basically, my limit is about 15 to 20. Above that, don't, don't, don't try and manage them. Uh, honestly, I, I would not recommend it. You'll have to, you do kind of have to use the auto build at that point. I got an empire with 80 plus planets is fine. Oh yeah, Morgan, don't, don't, don't. Oh god, that's too much effort. Too much effort. Hey, look at this. Our first piece of legislation is going to pass. I think actually we're, I'm going to move to cooperative. Economy and tech minus 50%. Actually, no, we'll go to supremacist. another five of these ships. No. That many. Good. Uh, communications jammer. Yeah, okay. They should all have, like, the level two... Why have they only got hyperdrive level one? That's not right. Oh, they do have level two. Oh, that's why they're upgrading. I know the destroyer only has level one. Because it doesn't have auto upgrade turned on. Oh, you fool. You fool, Montu. Well, let's uh, let's make him better. That's an expensive upgrade, but we're going to do it. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Tech rushing is dead, isn't it? Uh, it's not dead. It's just not as... Used. It takes a lot longer than it used to. You know, you can still try and do it. It's just going to take you a while. We have passed buzzword standardization. So what does that mean for us? Well, um, we've enabled our enterprises to work seamlessly with one another. Streamlining strategic communications empowers our agents, making hitting key, key performance indicators easier. Our KPI acquisition is better than ever before. What's this? Astronomical Marvel. Twithilian? Oh... Each non-organic non-slave pot produces one physics research per month. Would you look at that? Something we need to check out is what academic uh, utopian abundance gives in terms of research points. That would be a good thing to check at some point. Because mm. we know it got nerfed, but how much? How much did it get nerfed? The alloy nanoplants get greater effect on ring world, so you're seeing the boosted version, says Stephen Murray. Even in the even in the um even in the outliner here. 
even here before I've actually placed them on a planet? That, don't, that doesn't make sense. Is that, I, I'll, is that because my capital is a ring world? Maybe? I do not know. could propose some more legislation. Oh, no one's proposing regulatory facilitation. Let's get that bad boy up on the chamber floor. Let's try and take this, and then we'll take that one next. Uh, yeah, no, we're good on that front. Who are these folks? The Varing Galactic Empire. Oh, it's them! They want to be independent? Yeah, I don't really care about supporting their independence. Assigning to Galcom works fine for me, says Fiona. Why is it not working for me, then? What if I hire a new person and assign them? Will that work? Nope, I'm getting no bonus. I repeat, I am getting no bonus. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good to know. Mm, yeah, we'll grab the operative. That's nice, 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 nice. Oh, we should also clearly put an admiral on this grouping. Do we have any more admiral space? Yes, we do. Uh, butcher. Mm, yeah, go on. Ah, Stephen Murray saying that our capital um, is a ring world. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Save and reload to fix the Galcom. All right. Reload the entire game, Elfie, or... Uh, we will try saving and reloading. Wait, what? Yeah, there it is. We'll try a quick save and reload. See if that fixes it. Or do you mean reload the full game? Oh, Byron's here. Hi, Byron. Byron's going to poke QA about it tomorrow. That sounds fun. Let's throw someone in. See if it works. Uh, from Nenya. Uh, maybe let's wait to the end of the month. Maybe maybe it needs month end. Calcom killing stream. No, it's not. We're, at, we're number one. And anything, actually, in some ways, I kind of like not being able to assign extra diplomats to the Galcom to increase your weight. I'm not sure I hate this, because it means we have to, like, we can change our, uh, we can change our, uh, our diplomatic stance to change it. But this kind of means that we can't have, you know, people with the leaders being responsible for Galcom additional boosts, you need high level leaders, so if your leaders die, it becomes really annoying when you're very good at Galcom and then suddenly very bad, so... I already did. Utopian Abundance is 1.5 of each flavor. Ooh. Wait, what? This is a new chain. The schism between the population of Athelion is worsening. The strange dreams reported by the colonists have triggered fierce debates that have finally led to outbreaks of violence. <laughs> Crikey. Local leaders are calling for an official proclamation. As outlandish as it may seem, we're being asked to lend credibility to either the existence of a mechanical god or a black star beyond the astral scar. Um, I'm pretty sure the Black Star is going to be the Astral Rift event that's the Black Star, and that's bad. I kind of think the Mechanical God would be better, but probably neither vision has any merit. Let's... I suspect if we go with the Mechanical God, this might let us choose what's behind the Rift. Maybe. To be fair, this could have been part of Astral, uh, astral uh, Planes, and I've just not come across it before, or it could be a new event chain. Byron, is it a new event chain? Long live the mechanical god. Uh, oh, what should we do? I'm not sure, chat. 
let's ask let's ask the audience um what's it called in 40k uh the long live the omnissiah it is from astral planes oh cool i've just not come across it So our choices are, ladies and gentlemen, long live the Omnissiah, that's the, the robot god, look to the Black Star, or shut up! Basically our third option there. Poll is now live. Do what must be done. Vote. Vote. Uh, we'll expand the council. <gasps> Ooh, double genius armor. Yes, baby. Genius armor is hands down one of the best traits so far. 40% hardening. And the extra hit points on everything is just so beautiful. It's so gosh darn beautiful. I'm actually going to close borders because I don't want them coming in. Sorry. Go away. Chat is currently... YouTube is saying praise the Omnissiah with 50, uh, 48%. But 40% is saying look to the Black Star. What do we do? Uh, on Twitch, 40% are saying long live the Omnissiah. And 40% saying look to the black star with a small amount saying shut up don't forget of course you can lobby uh, lobbying is of course open as ever we need more research more research much energy. I would just replace this entirely with the industrial districts. Toaster. Praise the Omnissiah. Woman said to go Black Star because he hates robots. I can feel it. Oh lord. Oh lord. We are doing a psychic build. Yeah. Well not, well, not necessarily directly psychic but we kind of ended up into that path haven't we? Ah oh, we can take Psionic. There we go. Grab a cycle, we'll grab the base intel, and then we'll full excitedly ascend. That's fine. But Sauron is now psychic. All good. All good. Not a pro not a problem. Not a problem. Sauron's the good guy. Did everybody sonically ascend? No, they didn't. Now we need to set some assimilation rights. Ooh, uh, yeah, you should be assimilated. Have we got the economy to deal with it? My head says no, my heart says yes. So, um, we're just going to try and deal with it. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we should do them one at a time, but I feel like making everybody happy. And by happy, I mean assimilated. Ahem. Oh, it did do a bunch of them. I don't know why it didn't do all of them. Huh. So we silently ascended some people, but not everybody. Confusing, confusing. They are, they were on the same species, right? So yeah, they're all on residence. Don't know. Oh, I know what it is. These people came in already psionic. No, these ones are already psionic. It only did our primary species. These are the ones that, uh, where is he? Ulastar, the nice fellow brought in. If they didn't want any mind control, they shouldn't have had such weak wills. Exactly. Look, we just gave them the rings of power. They did what they wanted with them. I, I don't know. Don't don't shoot me. Praise the Omnisire is winning on 
Twitch and winning on YouTube. 50% on Twitch, 45% on YouTube. But very close is Lord of Look to the Black Star. So, you know. Ooh, yeah, our economy didn't like that. Did not like that at all. Yeah, we're... <laughs> <laughs> this is fine all fine everything's fine here um, the hardest choices require the strongest wills absolutely absolutely now some people might say i i shouldn't have done that but you know what i say to that um uh, what I say to that is, uh, let me see. Ah, oh, yes. Don't require any assistance from some junior minister. <laughs> absurd proposition. That's what I have to say to that. <clears throat> Do we have any other planets in a similar state? Yeah, probably the homeworlds we stole. Ooh, yeah, full unemployment. Mwah, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. We're getting more minerals, ironically, because we're making so many fewer alloys. <laughs> we're not bankrupt. No, 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 no. We're reinvesting into our people. We're becoming a people-first organization. Imagine having an economy in this economy. I know. I know. Ready to, oh, they're pathetic. Yeah, let's come fight them. Uh, this should, Who's it led by? Uh, this can be led by... Ugluck. There we go. Ugluck's on, on the way. We're making so much, so much less unity as well. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. A psychor for every world. Perfect. Spins in agreement. Right, we'll end the poll there. We're going for the Omnissiah. How is Athelion doing? Ooh, not great. Conflicting vision, widening divide. Yeah, and they're all and they're all soldiers. Well, let's get you out of those soldier jobs and into some specialist jobs. All the energy credits under my mattress caught fire, says Jobber. Yeah, that's uh, that can happen. Do we have our army together? Hithlum, you should probably go into space, actually, because you're not really needed there anymore. Come down south. Come on down to bed, bugs, and beyond. Luckily, we have a full complement of anti-amoeba Urukai class ships, so they'll, they'll be fine. Hey, we exceeded 666 likes. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Another happy landing. That means we have another goal completed. We're two Twitch subs away from the Twitch sub goal. We are three YouTube members away from the YouTube member goal. We completed the like goal. I'm just going to make the next one stupid hard. Let's put the like goal up to a thousand. Yeah, a thousand. I can't believe I forgot to turn Iron Man mode on, so we can't even get a, a we can't even get a, uh, uh, even if I want to get it, we can't even get the thing. What, 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 wait, what? Farhar has got rising unemployment? What the devil are you talking about? Oh, it's this thing where they don't get the job. Oh, but there we go. Yeah, you can have increased benefits, but like, no one, everyone's going to work. I will have to go to the planets and make sure they don't all do that. Uh, some of them seem okay. Yeah, okay. Ooh, minus 100 consumer goods. Yikes. That's not great. 
could be better. Did I just click X on that? Was I allowed to click? Oh! So we've made it credible. Debate went away. Public enthusiasm has never been higher. We get the Astral Zeal modifier. Forever! We get some Unity completing Astral Rifts. That's pretty cool. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Is it going to be a war of subjugation? Apparently not. Why not? Because their navy is inferior, but not that inferior. Because their economy is so much so is okay. I see. I will just humiliate them. Uh, Ugluck can run the race. There we go. Cool. Ooh, special project. Don't mind if I do. How long is this going to take? 57 months. Could be worse. We have seen worse. The final chapter of the Zroni is just ahead of us. Okay. Let's also grab more... Who are we again? What's our primary species? Kassam. Yes. Yes. Ether Drake. No, 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 no. Get out of there. Oh, Bowie. Should have looked what was in the system. Should have looked what was in the system. What? Oh, come off it. That's not fair. Glaurung just died retreating. That's deeply unpleasant, actually. Um, crap. Could have gone round as well. I'm going to just set this system to a no-go zone. With a, yeah, we're, we're a no-go on that one. Oof. Oof. Well... We're still flying half a ship. Huh. Huh. Let's go to the Shroudwalker Enclave and get stuff. We'll take what is to be our fate. Yeah, we'll pay for that. That maybe is a bit expensive. Or maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, should not have done that. Nope. Oops. Yeah, I'll be fine. Right, let's make sure we've got people employed on all the planets where they should be. Yeah, this is looking okay. We're good. We're good. That assimilation is crippling our economy a little bit. Like a... Just a smidgen. Just a teeny tiny bit. Um, so Turin was the real dragon or... or uh, yeah, uh, this is clearly Durin the dragon. Um... Glau Glaurung, oh, Turin, yeah, Glaurung got killed by the dragon. That's actually pretty funny. So in the mythology, Glaurung is the first dragon. Um, ironically, uh, Glaurung has been killed by a dragon. So, so well, that that's a thing. That's a fun thing. What? No. No. 
Now they can't have died of old age. Oh, do we look? How do? How? I don't even see what happened. I didn't even see what happened. The scientist is dead, though. Damn it! Damn it! I have to pay respects to um to Saruman. Saruman just bit the dust, bit the dirt real hard, uh, real real hard. Yeah, good job. Well, things have been better in the realm of Mordor. Things have definitely been better. Not that they're partic particularly bad now, just that they have been better. Yeah, they shouldn't be dying, and I'll show you why they shouldn't be dying. Look, their lifespan is like a hundred, their lifespan is hundreds of years. Hundreds and hundreds of years. I mean, they're Maya. They should be immortal. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's Alloy Mega Forge. Amazing. So let's check on this one. So this is a plus one. But it's not fully upgraded, so it doesn't get the bonus for being the... Oh, we ran out of food. That's a problem. Well, we'll uh, make sure to buy enough food then. And we'll just eat the cost. Nobody talk about the cost, okay? Nobody talk about the cost. The cost is not something we want to hear about. We'll nominate ourselves for Galactic Market. Hey, Joe. Yeah, yeah I'm doing all right. Yeah, it's going well. Uh, meat, yeah, I guess meat isn't back on the menu. Yeah, meat's kind of menu adjacent at the moment. Um... Yeah, uh, well, I mean, we're not we're not losing the war specifically. But we're just not winning very much either. So, there is that. Here we go. We'll have Smaug in charge now. Oh, we ran out of consumer goods. Yeah, that's a that's a problem. Let's, uh, let's fix that problem as well. We can fix that problem as well. And a lickety split. It's not an issue. There's a few, there's a few minor economic shocks, uh, flowing around, but, but really, really everything's okay. Everything's fine. The dust is Zroni. We found Zron. Where is it? That's not it. Is it there? There it is. Gotcha. Oh, I kind of... Oh, yeah, I'll take the edict. I want the edict. Let's see if we can open a reliquary and get something. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's play the slots as well. Pull the lever, Kronk. 500 coins back. Right. Pull the lever, Kronk. 500 coins, right, okay. Pull the lever, Kronk. Nothing, right, okay. Pull the lever, oh, we ran out of coins. Boo bar. Hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, we're basically good now on consumer goods, though. That's, that's a plus. We have almost sorted out the economy by psionically upgrading everyone. Yeah, yeah. Osgiliath is still going, still going strong, but, but we're, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Stephen Murray is shouting for Xeno compatibility. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, we, we, we can. We, we, can we take it? No, we can't take it because I haven't researched the technology yet. I need gene tailoring. 
We stayed away from Gene Tailoring like the plague. All right, Steve Murray's also just shouted, we don't have the technology. No, we don't. No, we don't. Right, second time's a charm, though, here. We're going to bring this army in from the north and lay waste to their worlds. The army of Kirith Ongol marches. And the economy's fine. I've seen worse economies, you know. This, uh, this is all good. There's only 32 pops assimilating. Let's stick some of them on food, shall we? Kind of fixes the food problem. We've expanded the council. Shadow Councilor. Let's get the ring bearer back. We liked having a ring bearer. Isildur's back in his ring bearer position. Xeno compatibility now also works on robots. <laughs> Is this a design meeting you're holding behind my back, says Talaris? Well, we do have the game director. Hi, Stephen. We've also got uh, we've got a bunch of people in Esteban. It's here. Um, Friendship is Mandry. Oh, I, I didn't notice that this Taurus was here. Uh, we did have we did have Byron earlier. Byron Byron is around. I would not recommend loading a 3.10 Iron Man saving 3.11. It'll load but might have issues. Oh yeah. To be fair, what I might do is I might turn Iron Man mode off, load it, as in I'll unpack the save, stop it being Iron Man, load it and then repack. Uh, load it then repack. Can I do that, Byron? Do you think that might make it okay? Because everyone probably wants the Jeff thing to continue. I could make a copy of it. Oh, yeah, I could do that and then load it in 3.10. Uh, keep it. Well, I would obviously make a copy just in case for 3.10. Uh, so I could load back into 3.10 if the need arise. Arose? Was arisen. I have to say, I love dock ship upkeep. I love dock ship upkeep for. um, Because uh, it still keeps it in there without it being kind of as crazy powerful as it was, so you can kind of have a fleet in being strategy if you'd like. Uh, without, um, without... The, the only thing I'm sad about is that I have... So I'm currently... I don't have... I'm not a lower ship build, right? I'm a plus 5% ship build cost. I'm, I'm up on ship build cost in total so far this game. This is unheard of. I've never seen this before in Solaris, and I am terrified. More shouts to Stellaris. Oh, by the way, if you're watching on Twitch, uh, we've got Stellaris channel in the uh, in the YouTube chat. If you didn't know what was going on. Do they even have a fleet? Oh, they've got 129 fleet packs, so not really. Hmm. One hundred and five percent. Those are rookie numbers. <laughs> I wonder how high we can get ship build cost now. Like, if we could stack some other traits. I think that's a trait. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Serenity only comes on Ulastar, or is that something that anyone could get? Because it's something anyone could get. That's terrifying. New achievement: reach two hundred percent ship build cost. Oh god. Why are there plus two jobs here? Uh, mm. There must be a leader somewhere that's got a trait. I don't know. I do not know.
That alien sound was like a burp. Yes, it was. That's the burpy farty space alien that everyone knows and loves. Uh, no. Why are you going that way? Oh, because they closed their borders. Oh, yeah, yeah. That happens, doesn't it? Right. Let's grab a more Alveo because I want it and it should be mine. It could be mine. It should be mine. Right, I'm going to take politics for our next tradition because, yes. What should we get for our ascension path, chat? The Goli the Galakius. The Galakius, thank you very much for your Twitch subscription from Prime. I wish there was a button. Oh, there it is. I want That's the button I wanted. Let's go for Industrialist. Yeah, let's go for that. Hey look, the Empire's no longer collapsing. The economy's fixed itself. Yeah. Told you naysayers. Uh, let's see, have we got the Edict for the Zro? Yes, we have Sight Beyond Sight. Blonk, I'll turn that on. Nuministic visualization is 100. We have the unity for it. I want it. Okay, let's commune with the ineffable. Let's do it. Who do you think we're going to get, chat? I kind of want Zeech these days. I think Zeech is really good at the moment. Um, because we can hit 100 stability. Relatively not that difficult. There's not, there's not that much difficulty in hitting the um, the 100 stability on planets. I mean, we're... Okay, yeah, 93 here, so I'm happy to take the small stability hit in exchange... No, Stephen Murray, we don't want to end the cycle. We don't want to end the cycle. Stop. Oh, God. That's not, that's not what we want. No one wants that. I mean, it would make sense for Sauron to get end of the cycle. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Also, at this point, I kind of feel Sauron would kind of go Imperial. I mean, he's going full... He's in full Sauron mode, isn't he? I'm going to claim that one. Uh, have a claim. We have a claim. We have a claim. There's no planet there. I don't care. We don't have a claim but can't afford it. Authority of Polismus has a claim. Well, I don't want them to have a claim, do we? It would look much better in our hands. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Get rid of you. Shouldn't have. Let's see if the delegate works there, though. Oh, so delegate grants plus five percent right now, but for some reason, weirdly, the um, the actual officer doesn't. The official clearly says waiting to be assigned, but with delegate, we are getting the plus five percent. I'll take it. I will take it. Reform to feudal. Take Become the Crisis as well, says Byron. Ah, uh, I mean, that could be our next... We can't take Become the Crisis. We're fanatic xenophile. Look, I... We, hmm. It wasn't intentional, but it happened. What if we... Orcs for fighting. Yeah, they're too small. Uh, we could kind of embrace the church a little. We could just embrace it a bit. That wouldn't be too bad. Would it? That's quitter talk, says Freak. Hey, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. It's not quitter talk. We're trying.
Celtic secrets. Uh, have a uh, have a religious revelation. Yeah, go on, why not? In Federation's end, boo, boo. Stupid Ganogians with all their vassals. Where'd they go? Are they on this planet? No. Where are the armies gone? Oh, they went over here. Ah, yeah, fair. So those armies can come up there then. Let's see if that Gravitas works. Gravitas does not work. Hmm. Oh well. I think at this point, everyone's very happy with Sauron. We're going to embrace fanatic spiritualism. Beautiful. Mwah. Now all we need to do is stop promoting. If we suppress how much they hate us. Oh, they really hate us. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. That would destroy the Empire. We're not looking to destroy the Empire. Hopefully, Sauron can become the Chosen One and then become the Immortal Sovereign. And that really would just set everything up beautifully. Oh, chemical plants. Yeah, I'll take that. Right, we've got the energy. Let's buy. I think because of the tech changes as well, the galactic market now actually becomes super important. Because uh, without it, you can't really... You, like, I can now buy crystals. Oh, do I have the crystal tech? Maybe I'm lying. Do I have crystal tech? Oh, I do have crystal tech. But I don't have any crystal production, I feel. Could be wrong. It's a 20-year wait between embracing. Yes, it is. But I've, I've now embraced Church of Aru Iluvatar, so I can't really do more there. What to take? What to take? Okay, we've got an infestation. Uh, right, so when we return from a recent diplomatic visit to the Codronites of Deneb 3, a uh, 2B, we discovered we picked up some unusual stowaways. An infestation of small wingless wriggling arthropods had found their way aboard our shuttle. They move fast and they're tiny enough that our senses can't detect them. I sense problems here. Given their rapid breeding, it has become increasingly difficult to contain the invasion. Unfortunately, the species is a symbol of plenty to the people of Deneb 2. How we respond to this could affect our relations with the Codronites. Uh, deal with this quietly. We need not insult them. Uh, should we uh, let's deal with it quietly? We'll just kind of like quietly get rid of them. They're now in the machine age. Is it possible now? I suspect not. Is it possible though to infiltrate government? No, not yet. And we've neutralized the infestation. They provide us with a cruelty free pest repellent. They're not smarter than us. Ridiculous. Oh, it's the Eater of... No, I'm not going with the Eater of... Ch chat, we're not doing the Eater of Worlds. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I really do need to pick up that tech, though. That's stupid to leave. Where is a scientist? There's a scientist. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give some tech after midnight. Uh, yeah, and just keep going. Science supremacy is brilliant. Not more evolving society, don't mind if I do. Nine point three. Okay, it's a good amount of allies. I like the allies. Yeah, we're doing okay. Nine 
Nine out of ten trial experts say choosing the end of the cycle is a very good idea. Um, Casey, uh, uh, um, uh, hmm. Hmm? Mm hmm. Oh, we, oh, we won. Oh, crap. We won the war. Oh, crap. Border Gore. Um, yes. This is good. Uh,. This is fine. Let's fix their stuff. Uh... Lamroth, we'll have a bunch. There we go go so let's make this into a sector gondor has fallen that's 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 what just happened that was gondor falling ladies and gentlemen gondor just fell and it was fine everyone loved it no issues whatsoever who's this that wants a defensive pack the zulfan entity superior technologically okay yeah okay and we do have shit kind of share a border with them We'll take the research agreement as well if they if they don't mind. Ah, there's a little bit of unrest on some of these planets. Yeah, they don't love us everywhere yet. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Residents, please. Residents, please. Hold your horses. Full citizenship. What what kind of fools do they think we are? Otherwise we'll just uh, yeah, we'll just assimilate a few people. <clears throat> Don't mind me. Do 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 who Disassemble the robots, of course. And then... Yeah, we've got a hundred... Oh, the, the most populous are now the Banthurians. Well, what if we just assimilate them? Ask him for a friend. Let's, and then we'll go home. Whoop. Alexander Gutman says, been watching from the beginning, but sorry for the non-sequitur. Apologies random for the random question, but do you have or know who does a good buddy on how to min-max pop jobs for recent patches? Um, what are you looking for when you're saying min-maxing pop jobs? Like, what are you expecting to get? Didn't I... Oh, it's on the upgraded path. Fine. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Go around that. And look at that! We've completely cured the stability issues by uh, assimilating them. <clears throat> Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Oh, they don't like us. Well. We'll be recalling our embassy. I don't know you. Can't believe the galactic community's not been here for 20 years at this point in the game. Uh, we're not ready to go into the shroud yet. Okay, that's fine. We do have... 500's row, so we should be able to pick our deity. And you know who we're going to aim for, right, chat? Oh, 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 
Just in the nick of time. Almost ran out of food there. That could have been a disaster. We don't have um, hyper relays yet. Uh, at this point, an explorer. That's a note from me. Okay, here we go. Grab an antimatter reactor. Watch out, you're over the starbase capacity. No, I'm I'm happy here. We're at plus fifty percent. Our starbase usage is 131 energy. It's at like it's minor, and I there's no starbases I want to get rid of. So yeah. I'm just gonna kind of exist here and be happy about it. Oh, it was totally sarcasm. <laughs> I like the play on words there, sarcasm. I like that a lot. Oh, goodness. Uh, you know what, actually? That's not a shipyard. Oh, we don't have any shipyards. Well, I didn't need a sh I didn't want a shipyard anyway. We still need to pick a an ascension perk. People, what do we want to do for an ascension perk here? So, let's see. Uh, we don't have any habitat, so Voidborn, meh. Mastery of Nature... If somebody let's ignore that before Woodman C comes back and starts shouting about it. Um, Galactic Force Projection, I like more and more these days because of that naval capacity boost plus the fleet command limit of plus 50 is just really nice. Um, uh, Defender of the Galaxy could work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Consecrated World because I'm a jerk. Michael Alexander, you are a jerk. What are the civics for this playthrough? We're currently now on Memorialist, Merchant Guild, and Shadow Council. The Lords of the Ring. And let's not forget that we have the, the ring here, which is actually three rings. Nenya, Nardia, and Vilya. Um, and uh, every, they're all fine. Everything's fine. All good. Gonna upgrade a few pillars while I'm here. We started off with mining guilds, then for some reason Tom Bombadil ended up getting in charge. That was a bit weird and awkward. We're not talking about those dark days, those are the dark days. Uh, we have the ring bearer Sildor. We've got the head of Stari. Used to be um Saruman. Saruman fell, so now it's going to be um Now it's going to be Aloran. Yeah, we'll make that leader Aloran. Where are you? Gandalf. Uh, not Gandalf. Uh, anybody. Could be anybody. Could be anybody. Noah's asking, did I see the CDOM system yet? No, I did not. I have not seen the CDOM system. Oh, we need more volatile moats. Let's buy some. Let's make it into a research world. Demolish that. Uh, we kind of need that. No, we're not even using those. Don't need that. All good. All right, I'm going to put a poll up. Let's put a poll up. Right. Start your questions. So next ascension. Perk? Oh my god, just spell the word perk, Montu. We're gonna have... Uh, ba -ba -ba.
Lame Master of Nature, Silly Consecrated Worlds, uh, Chad Galactic Force Projection. We can't do genetic ascension, genetic ascension because we've already done psionic ascension and com completed it, mate. Uh, and then defend... Um... Or... Defender of the Galaxy. What do we want? What do we want? Normal voting rules will apply. Uh, let's put the poll up for five minutes later. Normal voting rules apply. So, if you want to lobby, you can do so. One dollar on YouTube with a super chat is a percentage point to whatever you want to go for. And um, 100 bits on Twitch changes the Twitch vote by a point. Where are we at so far? The initial voting. Nobody's voted on Twitch. And on YouTube, 50% are voting for Chad Galactic Force Projection. That's what we want to see. There we go. No, none of this silly mastery of nature or consecrated worlds. Ugh. That would just hurt. It would hurt, and I, I, I don't want it. At all. Even a little bit. I can't do anything about that unemployed fella. Structured signal sounds good. We could probably also grab... Yeah, we can grab another research complex here. Why not? Hyper-focused a lot in. You know you want Consecrated Worlds, says Consecrated Asteroid. I will consecrate an asteroid if Consecrated Worlds wins, Mr. Asteroid, I promise. Or Mrs. Asteroid. Or Ms. Asteroid or M. Asteroid. Don't know if you're gendered as an asteroid. Um, how can you tell? They pledge secret fealty to us? Well. Well, it looks like we might go and wade in against those folks if there's some secret fealty on the floor. Reach out to a higher power. You're damn right I will. Um, one that tastes like broken trust. Yes. Attempt to communicate. There we go. And I'm going to take Covenant with Whisperers. 5% research speed, influence, code breaking. That's fine. But mainly, I just really like how we get research from our telepaths when we upgrade it. Oh my goodness me. The research from telepaths is so good. So good. Persistent petitioners should help us. Not right now, but it will in the end. Asteroids do not discuss our reproduction. Yeah, how do you how do you reproduce asteroids? Please tell us. Go go mastery of nature says Anne Valiant. No, no, look, no. So far, anyway, Chad Galactic Force projection is winning on Twitch and on YouTube. Uh, forty two percent on Twitch. Second place on Twitch is Lame Mastery of Nature with thirty three on YouTube. Second place is Silly Consecrated World with twenty five. Of course, you can lobby if you want to. I'm going to have to do some planetary management. Ugh. Is that the crystal system? Awesome. Might go and have to have a little look at that. <gasps> we, of course, have the Zroni Stormcaster. 10,000! Oh! Oh my god. 10,000. 10,000. Sorry, why am I saying 10,000? I'm out by an order of magnitude. 100,000 research points. Hundred thousand research points. I meant a hundred thousand. I did mean a hundred thousand. I I'll come back to that. I will I'll circle back. Holy Cropola. Hundred thousand. It's a hundred months. It's ten years for the Zeroni Stormcaster. I like it, but I don't like it that much. Not right now, anyway.
Ooh, almost ran out of food again. Caught it in just in the nick of time. Confirm the covenant. Yes, we will. We should probably go and help those people who wanted to be free as well, shouldn't we? It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Asteroids reproduce by smashing, says Ghostfish. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Right. Galactic Force Projection is one on both, and there's been no lobbying. I'm allowed to take it. Excellent. Uh, thank you very much, chat. We're going to build an army worthy of Mordor. Uh, I want to get reactive armor, but actually I'm going to go with Star Fortress. You and you combine. Can you make Tomb World Resort World still? Yes, you can. That's not coming until the next patch. That's not until 3.12, I want to say, that change. Uh, sanctuary. Cycle. Oh, they've probably all become full citizens. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. The Zulfan entity want to become our bol- Oh, no. No, we're not doing that. That would just be stupid. On the other hand, we could do a different type of subjugation. How about if you became our Prospectorium? I don't think actually I want to do... Let's just start with a vassal agreement. You give us a bunch of cash and we'll <clears throat> protect you. Yeah, there you are. Let's see how they like those apples. Go on, give us the cash. Give us the cash. Ruined ring? They've got a ruined ring? Holy crap. Did the mining core really try and take stop that? Antimatter reactor. Good. Let's get next level on that. More Ministries of Truth! More Ministries of Truth! Yes, because we got them, didn't we? Sorry, we got another vassal. Actually, we're going to start with... Uh, we're going to help them with an aid agency. They're clearly very weak. They need an aid agency. Kill them. Kill them. And grab the space. Good, good. I should probably also set the trade routes up. Yeah, none of these trade routes are set up. That's silly. 
Oh, they can't. They can't. Oh, they just. They're stuck. They're stuck without trade routes. Uh oh. Why are there three soldier jobs here? Soldier jobs from reassembled ship shelter. Wait a minute. What? Why is that one giving? Is there a feature? No. Why is this giving plus one and a half soldier jobs? I... Mr. Clean, I don't know. Good, 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 good. Yes, but also, why soldier job? Explain. Sharon gets re-elected. Of course. No, I don't think they link soldier jobs to planetary admin. If they did, I just didn't notice. No, it's tied to police, not admin. I mean, there's there's only there's a soldier job coming from this reassembled ship shelter. And I don't know why. This one, if I upgrade it, gives soldier jobs as well. The governor isn't. The governor. Ah, oh, it's a military governor. Military governor. That's why. There's a military governor in this sector giving out soldier jobs. So there's martial law on all of these planets. That's my bad. Didn't notice. <laughs> I click that button and oh they're on my side <laughs> delicious right let's go for it shall we I want the Zerny Songcast but it's too expensive I want it but I can't afford it right you lot come with me and go here. Yeah. That'll do. Mondu question. Let's say someone, not me, accidentally befriends a fanatic purifier. What to do? What do you mean, accident? How did you befriend a fanatic purifier? It's minus a thousand relations. Uh, I have cons confused. I'm confused and I have concerns. Some very big concerns, actually. Like, what are you doing and how did you do it? <laughs> do we have anywhere that would be a good spot for a habitat? Ooh, yeah! Oh no, that's a plus nine. No, we don't get rid of that. Hmm. Habitats. Come in. Habitats. Is that two separate deposits? No, it's a double deposit. I want to research habitat. No, that's not double deposits. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Maybe he's wrong. One research deposit. Two research deposits. And we can put something above Zrom. Pro yeah, yeah, here we go. Put the habitat central complex above there to harvest it. Fear of the Dark Vassal turned bad. Hmm. They're just misunderstood, says Fern. Well, maybe. I don't know about that. Hey, Monty, what do you think about the new tech system? Will you change your game settings? I might reduce tech cost a bit to get through the game. Like, for, my, like for the playthroughs where I'm playing to record and I need to, like, spend a day recording a playthrough or two, a day and a half, I'll probably drop down the uh, tech costs a little. Have they activated their gateway? Those cheeky son of a guns. 
How are they equivalent to us on tech when they've activated a gateway? Explain yourselves. The bell drop. Why? Who? Who? Who are declaring war on us? What? Oh. Wait, what? I mean, they can if they want to. Their navy is pathetic. And that they're not anywhere near us. And we'd have our entire vassal swarm, so... Go for it. Take the firing rate. <gasps> no, they broke the secret fealty just as we were about to come in and... Oh my god, god damn it. I'm... Oh. We just snoozed and we lost. You snooze, you lose. Well, there we have it, folks. No more secret fealty for us. We'll slink away back to our corner. Load an autosave, says chat. No, 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 that's cheating. Like, this, uh, this is my fault. I should have clicked. I should. We should have done it a bit earlier, and I didn't. I'm not loading an autosave. That's, yeah. Orbital rings. Oh, yeah, 2297 orbital rings. That's early. <laughs> Minus 50% monthly physics research. I mean, no, thank you. Embrace non-Iron Man mode? No, Michael Alexander. No, it's cheating. Has anyone had a chance to play it there? If you guarantee independence, don't they just keep the secret fealty? Uh, yeah, but I didn't guarantee independence. Let's see if I can give them some, f some stuff so they like us. Maybe they'll give us a secret fealty back. Go on, don't be mean. Become our, become our bitch again. You know you want to. Hundred percent stability. I love it. I love it. Is your empire actually based on Lotter? Is it just the name? Um, no, no, not Lotter at all. We don't have Maya Sauron involved, Edistaria Lauren, Chief Balrog Gothmog, Chief Whipper Tom Bombadil. So there was a weird thing with Tom Bombadil. Kind of go back in the stream, you'll find out. He he was in charge for a bit. Didn't like it. Uh, Ring bearer Isildur, who's volatile. Who would have guessed that one? Um, Sauron the Bureaucrat. Yuck. Almost got the Zeroni Crystal. And then we'll really be cooking with gas. Or something. Um, Embassy Complex. Yes, I'll grab that. Do I have a bunch of relics I need to use yet? We'll discover and I'll get insight then. Let's go to our fleet. Right, you are upgrading and then you can have a bunch of ships. You can just have a bunch of ships.
Oh yeah, upgrade this. Yeah, why has Umbar not been upgrading? No! Commander Smaug has been killed! Clearly this is the work of a bunch of little dwarf people. Bloody dwarves. Um, this can be Camul. Oh, declaration of war actually happened. They've actually they've they've only gone and done it. Wait a minute, the Gnogian Empire have come in with them. Well, we're set up. Oh wow, there's a galactic war on, ladies and gentlemen. We are now at war with the galaxy, basically. Amazing. That's amazing. The AI has gone in for an invite joint war. Ganogian's in. They do have a superior military to us right now, but I'm hoping that won't be the case when I finish building all the stuff I'm building. Uh, they've also brought in the Cabalian Order and the Multics Concern. We've got basically all of our vassals in, though. So, do they have any ships? Pathetic. Pathetic. Now that's not good. And obviously this one's pathetic. Uh, but what about these folks? Only inferior. Well, you know, it could be worse. These guys are pathetic, though. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for the vassal, given how big it is. But, yeah, you know, it was a black arrow, naturally. Saren is currently going through an Anatar phase as the head of a Xenophile empire. We're now fanatic spiritualists, all right? We're fanatic spiritualists. And yes, and so it begins. That is exactly how I feel right now. Um... We still haven't rolled the fortress tech yet, have we? How bizarre. Okay. Uh, you go up and work. Thank you. Have I got the... I don't have... Ah, oh, crap. It'd be cool if the galactic market leader could kind of like reduce... Pro if you go to war with them, your market fee goes up or something's funny. That'd be kind of... Plans to bring back Melkor. Uh, no, Melkor, Melkor was silly. We, we're in charge now. That's, that's all we have time for on that note. <laughs> Lauren should probably come back inside our empire so as not to be, like, killed by mistake or something. Not that that would happen, but, you know, I, I think that could happen. Get some bigger fortresses out. Where do we want to go with these fleets? I guess the only place to go is over here. 700 days. Oh, jeez. Yeah, alright, well, we're going. 800 days. We, I really would love, I really would love it if we had, um... Oof. That's actually, we're paying them nothing. I would really love it, though, if we had, uh, if we had the, um, Hyper Relay. So in order to get that going, what I should really do... Oh, yep. Oh, I left the support independence on. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Now it really is a galactic war. We're at war with the red. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Whatever. I'll deal with it later. That's a, that's a future me problem. Uh, we'll deal with Ascension perks later as well. 
Actually, resolution-wise, though, we should probably put the Galactic Council on the Senate floor. Oh, the have nice. What? Go away. Right, let's also build just more ships. I'm feeling like more ships would be a good idea. Yes, because we, we need more. More, more, not less, more. Our weapons, though, are not great. Our weapons are very much not great. We've got um, tier two. <laughs> Look at this. It's year 100. Look at our ship. Like, <laughs> this is just diabolical. <laughs> Can I surrender the independence war? No, I cannot. I can't do anything. I'm hopeful they've got enough. Oh, look, they're just winning. I, I'll leave them to it. That's fine. Quantity over quality, the Mordor way. Uh, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I have a science ship somewhere doing. No, I've only got two science ships. Yeah. I don't need an aggression pack with you because you're stupid. They're coming with 5k. That's. Oh, wow. The AI is putting dimensional locks down. Awesome. Awesome to see. I love it. I love it. We'll, re we'll reduce the war exhaustion gain, I suppose. And given that you're governing a thillion, you can be a commissioner. Yeah, I like that. No one of the councillors upgraded, that's fine. <laughs> I just just got a, quite a great comment here. I got let's take a moment to read this one. Um because this is a fun comment. Uh, I love when you get fun comments. Here. Oh, let's I think we'll take the ship. Maya Sauron gains a level. Yeah, Sauron's level 10. It happened. Get over it. Anyway, let me read this great comment I just saw. <clears throat> Kairoi Tayapa says, I legit hate your voice for all of your videos. It sounds like my old ass accountings tutor, monotone as F. But because of it, I legit cannot stop watching all of your videos. While they are informative, I play them at two times speed for my own sanity. Fair enough. I'm not sure you're using the word hate correctly, but fair enough. Where did my... Yeah, here they are. Oh, our vassal's going on the defensive, on the offensive. Oh. Tier four kinetics. Hold up. Are we just morons? Are we just complete idiots? Like they've got tier four kinetics out there and we're rocking around with crap. I think we're idiots. I think we're honest to goodness might just be idiots. Where are you? Uh, governing here. Ah, okay, so you should be an analyst. Yeah, gotcha. We get ready, ladies and gentlemen. We're at six. I repeat, these researchers are making six research per pop with all the bonuses we can muster. 
Oh god, they suck. And actually, I just want better weapons at this point. So let's roll stuff that's low. Let's get civilian fabricated so we can have re-rolls. You're not on the council, so you can go through the... I don't have the Rift Sphere technology. Of course I don't. Why, why would I have the Rift Sphere technology? What a silly idea. There is a Lord, Lord of the Rings lore argument going on in my chat right now, and I'm here for it. I am here for it. Let's, uh, let's take a look at that in a moment. Zeron habitat is now complete. Excellent. We'll live above their ruined uh, wasteland of a civilization. Oh, it's just the lithoids that are really good there. Now let's put our people down on it. New Mordor. Perfect. Ten percent daily hull and armor regen. Don't mind if I do. No, I'm I'm meant to be researching military technologies, Montu. Military technologies. Wake up. Did you leave behind the host? You did leave behind the host. You bumpkins. Uh, let's see. The Gnogians are there. Let's go into them. First, though, we should come and kick butt here. Oh no, oh no, there's a rings of power argument happening. Chat, there's a rings of power arguing happening. Argument happening. Our bond grows deeper. Our telepath telepaths now produce research points. Let's get to the end of the month and see how much extra research we get. It, it, hopefully it's a lot. Oh, we just went over the 2k mark. We basically got 100 extra research points. So nice. Look how much research they make. Honestly, I think, I think for research, psionic, a psionic rush and pushing into, um, if you can get this row, getting, getting this is just crazy. Look at this, 30, 14 research per pop. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's just so beautiful. Oh yeah, demolish that. Why have we got that? Now you pledge the secret fealty. Now you pledge it. Well, I can't, I can't, I can't very much use that now, can I? Brilliant, thanks. Appreciate the fealty, idiot. I'm gonna take subterfuge to finish it off. Um, we'll leave the rest of the perks open, I think. Go for exotic gas. There's Rift Sphere Tech. Finally. <laughs> um, let's grab... Let's grab some better encryption for a moment. Oh, we're engaging something. That's fine. Do we have another world? Minas Tirith. Yes. You should have a civilian industry. Oh, go away. 
Seriously? Oh, right in the middle of our... Thank you. I don't think it'll do me dirty like that. Um, with our fleets engaged over here, it actually makes it really tough. I guess we just have to bring everyone back. Uh, oh, the Ganogiots have 25k there. Hmm. Oh, at least it's not next to our vassals. At least it's not next to our vassals. They do have to kind of go over here somewhere before they can grab stuff. So it could be worse. Oh, they split the atom. That's good for them. Right, you lot. Do I even care if they do anything? No, not really. Uh, just all come back. I'm going to go and kick butt over here. Then we'll come back to deal with the rest of it in a moment. I kind of... I should bring one of these fleets back. Let's bring the host of all thank back. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're going out. They're going out to smack, smack, smack people up. Oof. The Khan's quite nasty now on this tech level. The planet is going nuclear. No, we spent so long on Deniv 2. Don't, don't blow yourselves up, you morons. Utter morons. Right, we'll infiltrate the government and try and take them over that way, I suppose. Oh, fools. I can now turn edicts on, and I really should remember to do that. The starty system is 35k. I can probably handle that. Oh, they're they're forming their fleets up. They're going on the attack. The Multics concern. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, this is bad for the war, but I mean, oh no, it's bad for us as well. They're coming out. They are coming out. They're hitting our vassal. We should probably be defending our vassal. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a that's a problem. For real. That is really a problem. Yeah. Mm. Meditate. Free cog interface. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. And we'll just get three more ships. Cool. Uh, we, we did start bringing a fleet back, didn't we? The host of all thanks should be somewhere close by. Oh no, it's just going. Oh, and actually, given what we've just seen here, oh yeah, no, you drop back. Oh no, this could be bad. Uh, let's go for exotic gases as fuel, explosives, reactive armor. Folks, no, explosives and reactive armor it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. Get out of there. Get out of there. Don't get caught out of position. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, we actually need we need everyone. No, we need all hands on deck for this one. Uh, bam, you got a rift. That fleet's not tiny, but actually we could go and deal with it. Yeah, let's go and deal with it quickly. Because it's just super annoying. It's a super annoying little fleet to have flying around like that. Mondu, how's everyone's favorite Solaris YouTuber liking the current patch? Playable or continue with my current game and come back to it 
after it is perhaps some more. So I don't think, I think this the direction they're going in in terms of the tech changes mean that you kind of, you have to, you can't ignore this one. Unless you're going to stay on 3.10 forever, you, ha you can't ignore this one, all right? Um, so I'd probably dive into it. Make a copy of your save games. Do make a copy of your save games. Um, yeah. For sure, make a copy of your save games. How are we going over here? No! What? Why are they there? Did they get caught out? Ah, oh, damn it. We'll pull them back. Gothmog will pull back and not die. Good. And I'm bringing the regular fleets to, to, to win the day. That's what happens when you get tired. You make little mistakes like that. I must have set one order in, but not, not set them to combine. What do their ships look like? We don't know, but what are their weapons? Large rip auto cannons. Oh good, so they suck against my armor. Yeah, and they're not really killing anybody. That's just one fleet. Cool, we'll kill them. Good. Got him. Take the star base. On, take the star base. Ah, not quite. Never mind. It's a lot of Corvettes. I reckon we could probably win if we pushed onto them. Not sure I really want to do that though. Did we kill that other fleet? No, they kind of run away. Oh, this is not looking good for our northern sector. We could be about to lose... Oh, this eastern bit. We could be about to lose that. Do we have armies down? No, we need more armies, though. Minas Morgul is left a little undefended. Is the Great Khan an actual threat? Well, now we're year 2300, and actually, like, because of our ships, look at our ship designs. So, good designs, but, like, the tech is kind of crap. Meaning that, they're, well, they're not going to do that well against the Khan by themselves. Let's put it that way. We're in three wars right now. Our fleets are wildly out of position, honestly. Uh, let's bring back the armies a bit. There's the Chosen. Oh! The peace just went off. The peace just went off. The Matok have given them up entirely. Can't propose them a vassal right now because we haven't got the, uh, the stuff. We can do soon. Oh, ancient refinery. That is, that is, a, stop what we're doing. Get the ancient refinery. Get it, get it, get it. Oh my goodness, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Surrender to the Khan for the Empire Shattering Fund. Sorry, you're telling me that Sauron here is going to surrender to the Great Khan? Absolutely not. I've never heard a crazier idea. We'll guarantee their independence as well. Yeah, they'll be our vassal soon as well. Let's allow them to form up on us. 
do we have enough for another leader? Not really, but I'm going to grab one anyway. Just go to unyielding two. That's fine. This is all fine. All right, armor torpedoes. Yes, now we're now we're kind of we'll be cooking with gas there. Forty-five months. We're making. Oh, we lost some research points, didn't we? Oh yeah. I forgot that happened. <laughs> didn't he surrender to the Numenorians? Well, are we talking about we're we back into the Sauron law, aren't we here? Did Sauron surrender to the Numenorians? Yes, because when they turned up, um, when King What's His Face. Alka's, Nebuka's, Alka's, whatever his name was. The uh, Shmishmishmash. When he turned up, they were just wildly powerful. It was a host the likes of which Middle Earth had never seen, and Sauron went, yeah, no, I'm out. But also, they were easily corruptible, clearly, because then they took him back to Numenor, corrupted the king, the local internals, they all started worshipping Melkor, and then they decided, great idea, let's go and invade the Undying Lands. And uh, only the only the, the chosen people were left alive, the ones that fled Numenor. Let's go for it. The star... Oh my goodness me, look at how many bases that thing has. Sugar. Torpedoes help. We're losing quite a few ships here. And that regeneration is fearsome. We're going to win the fight. And then we'll be having a bit of a weird time. To okay, cool. We got the fight. Cool. Grab military build up. Let's also reach into the shroud again. Decrease ship upkeep. Oh, yes. That's very nice. That is very nice. So are we going to get a third fleet up and running down south? I feel like we can. Wait, where's the host of Baradur and why has it got so few ships? Oh, they retreated, didn't they? Have they come back yet? No, the host of Gundaban retreated. Yes, the host of Baradur is still here. Right, yeah, okay, fine. Uh, we should grab something, shouldn't we? Um... Sonic Supremacy. I mean, overall, I think this looks okay. Oh, no, I take it back. That's bad. You need to come down south. The Armanthian Task Force. Ara, no, Ara, Aramathian. How's Monty doing as a life? Yes, well, you know, it's all right. We've got a lot of vassals. Apart from the lot of vassals, though, yeah, we're not, we're not, we don't really have very much of anything. Um, could be worse. Don't know how. I'll think of how it could be worse, but it is. Kind of everyone, we're, we were at war, everyone in the car exploded out. Oh, and there's two fleets. That's not good. I would love, I would really love it, if we have fortress technology. We're 100 years in and we don't have fortress technology, and that is concerning for a great many reasons.
Losing these systems is gonna suck. Losing these systems is gonna suck really hard. Yet you and you together go here. Meanwhile, how's it going up north? Uh, we're basically holding them back. Right, so with this starbase taken, 13k, I think we can afford to bring back a fleet. Uh, I'd probably regret it if I did it, wouldn't I? Yeah, we probably can't. Uh, let's push the offensive. Are they going to keep going? Yes, they're going to keep going and steal our space. No. Oh. I liked our space, it was ours. That was one of my favorite parts about it, about the space there, that, that it was ours. Tier one weapons versus tier four, not a skill issue. No, uh, it's fine. They may have tier four weapons, but we'll be we don't we don't need to fear them. They should fear us. We do have better ship designs. Oh, we're just gonna lose all of that northern space, aren't we? That is what it is. It is literally just is what it is. At least they've not dropped south, so we can hopefully go and reclaim that before their construction ships come in and grab... Oh, no, they're coming. Well, we'll have to kill the star bases. That's fine. It's a 7k base. We've got torpedoes. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. It'd be a really great time right now to have, like, a galactic council or something, wouldn't it? Okay, you come away from there and go do another rift somewhere. There you go. You're good. You're good. You're good. That's, that's what you should look like now. Okay, the host of Gundabad is back as well. Wait, we can push them. We can push them. As long as they don't come from the north. Oh. The Cavalian Order is sitting over here. How do they get there? Who let them go there? Okay, 20% weapons damage. That's good. Five years of that. It's fine. Can we activate a thing? No. Crap. We don't need the 3k to come with us. That's fine. Oh, oh, oh. Hyper jump charge, charge speed. Yes, I'll take that boost. Oh, we're now, we're now the largest force in the galaxy by quite a margin. None can withstand the will of Sauron, man. This isn't so much a war as it is shopping for a throne. Yet yeah, where's the where's the where's the where's the horde gone though? Once we get all three together, once we combine our fleets with the other fleets, we'll have a force that no one in the galaxy can stop. Oh crap. Oh crap, they've got a lot of fleets. Are they going to engage with them? Or are they going to stand there like... No, they're going to engage with them. Right, we're not going to fight there. We're going to fight here. We're going to come to the Zufan entity. We'll fight them together. Why are you not going? 
Why did you not go? I, I had both fleets selected. Seriously? Go, 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 go. Thank you. Oh, that is a very fast charge time. Wait a minute, what kind of bonuses are we getting right now for charge time? So we've got Sight Beyond Sight, minus 15%. And let's just select the fleet. And we'll I, think that, I think their hyperdrive charge time is currently basically instant. Minus 50% there. Hyper jump, hyper, uh, hyper jump cooldown minus 15%. Is that it? Don't we have a couple? Because we've also got the thing going. We got 15% from that. Uh, whatever. Maybe. Maybe not. Send a science ship for debris. Good point. What? Why is why have I got a jump drive science ship? Uh beg your pardon? He's back! Saruman has returned! Uh, I'm sorry, what? Oh, that's awesome! Oh, because he went away because of the event! Now he's come back! At the turn of the tide! Isn't that wizard? Um, yeah, go kick butt. Good, they've all joined up together. They never actually engaged. They kind of faffed around. Saruman the Grey. <laughs> Saruman the Many Colors. Oh, here we go. Drone shopping. That's not the right one, but it will take it. Boom, boom. It's dead. Yeah, we'll bring a construction ship. Go on, why not? Is that... No, it's Cavellians. We can ignore them. How long does it survive? Oh, look at these! Look at this stuff we're missing out on. Oh well. Oh, they're going to come in one by one. Oh, those fools! Those absolute fools! Yeah, we'll meet them at the border. Let the AI tank for us, and we will destroy. And look! Look! There, there's more! Minus 80% says Doopy Smurf. Yes, that was the um, the hyper, the, the cooldown that we're getting, I think, yeah. Complete annihilation of their fleets. Yeah, excellent. Excellent what we like to see wait for us wait for us what do you do? you've got the, your ships are super damaged don't you oh, okay let's head them off at the capital yeah Do we unlock battleships? I think no, actually. I don't really care about battleships right now. I'll send these folks. This can be the, uh, uh, the host of Moria. How's fighting the Horde going? Um, not terribly. I, you know, it could be going worse. We've, we've lost a couple of systems, but they didn't have any, like, owned planets in. 
Uh, we've managed to split our navy. We've got one navy, part navy over here, and the other segment over here winning the day. We really are fighting the good fight. Got him. Uh, oh, we got Sonic Shields as well. I'll take it. We hit them with some torpedoes, strike craft, fusion missiles. Kill, kill, kill. Got plenty of influence as well to just pick everything up here. Technically, we've guaranteed the independence of these folks. Does that mean anything, though? No, because the Khan is kicking their butt. Oh, good. Our enemy and the Khan are fighting each other to death. Isn't that just perfect? Is the Khan anywhere else? I don't see them. So I'm going to say no. We've got full occupation here on the Beldroan Pact. I think we researched... Um, pretty sure we researched the ability to build ring, uh, ring well, uh Orbital rings? Yes, we did. Cool. Let's put one out. Always forget to do that. Uh, wait for them to turn up. <laughs> Finally got Gene Taylor ring. We could get Xeno compatibility now. Discoveries, relics, I've still got a little bit left to go. Grab another Elgate Insight. the sub goal jeff lol thank you very much for your twitch subscription we did just hit the twitch sub goal let's uh, do something about that that means we've had how many have we had today in total 20 twitch subs wow that's amazing um thank you everybody that's been coming along and subbing let's put the new goal up to 25 youtube on the other hand we've had 12 new members so we're a little bit shy of the uh the goal to hit uh, 15, but we, we might get there. We might get some new members. Some lovely people might decide to join and support the channel. This isn't war. This is sport. Full on psionic supremacy. Always nice. with departmental efficiency next. Alright, so Isildur. Is Isildur a galvanizer? No. Uh, an elite benefactor? Maybe. A utopian idealist? Huh. Umbar has basically max stability, but that's only partly because we've got the plus 20 from in, in the stability agenda. Right. Right. Um... Yeah, we'll go with Utopian Idealist. Isildur wasn't evil or allied with Sauron. Isildur is a ring bearer. Isildur was evil. 
Silda was very evil in the end. Jeff Lol says, thanks for all the Stellaris videos, Monto, appreciate it. Thank you for your support, Jeff Lol. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Like, Isilda didn't in intend to start evil, but like, where did he end up? Evil. Evil. Oh, they're trying to cut us off from behind. Well, can't let that happen. So the Ganogians were kind of number two. Now they're not. They've apparently got similar fleets to us, but I'm just kind of like, where? Hmm? I don't know, we don't want to discuss surrender. Go away. Uh, right, let's talk about Matters Marshall. 20% more weapons damage. Don't mind if I do. Didn't I have a researcher somewhere? Yeah, you should probably come over and research this debris. No, I don't want to risk it. Thank you. Isild was not able to ring corrupt him. Well, yes, the ring corrupted him. And in essence, he ended up working for Sauron. I mean, look, he's currently here as a ring bearer. I, I don't see the issue here, David. I didn't say he started evil. I said he is evil, as in in the end. At this point, at least, but in, in our legendarium. Where is the Khan? Right, what do you want? Some consumer goods? Yeah, there you go. Give us some active sensor link. Give, give, give. No, no Khan. Nope, no Khan. Gotcha. Target acquired, ladies and gentlemen. Target acquired. I see a throne, and it's mine. There can be only one Lord of the Ring. And there, there is only one Lord of the Ring, and he does not share power. There we go. Fixed it. Ooh, they've come back with fleets. The Ganogians have fleets. My lord, who would have thunk it? What? Who's claiming our systems? The Authority of Polismus. Oh, they're not going to throw their weight in now, are they? Oh, those bumpkins. The torpedoes should really help here. Sure we don't run out of anything. Here we go. Kill him. Kill them. All kind of run around in a circle. Either's fine. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Don't retreat. Don't retreat, you bugger. Just die. Just die. Yes. Oh, the Great Khan is not infallible. The Great Khan is not infallible. We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. 
It, our fleet really took a beating there, though. We're going to... Oh, don't want to come back and repair. Let's just come back close by and we'll just have a look. To be fair, I couldn't pick end of the cycle from the four that were there. To be fair, Michael Alexander, I couldn't. I picked Zeech. Zeech isn't boring. How dare you say that? Take that back. This instant. I love this. Our enemies are fighting the Khan for us now. Over there, it's kind of beautiful. Um... Let's punch them in the face. No, they're going that way. Right. Oh, Space Storm Gafu arrives. Brilliant. Sublight speed reduction and shield nullification. I mean, we don't care about shields anyway, so it doesn't really affect us, I think. I think. I think. More than welcome to be proved wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Jobber, yeah, I'm scanning debris here. Look, I'm literally scanning debris right now. As we speak, I have the KNN, whatever it is, scanning. Scanity scanning. If someone else gets the Khan, I am going to be furious. More fleet. More fleet. Uh, fine, I'll take increased lifespans. Didn't do anything. All right, I see. You know what's not great? Yeah, we'll hire, hire someone anyway. Ooh, look at that research progress. So much of it. I love it. What? Why do we have to go somewhere else? Have they... Oh, they have the star base. Oh, of course they do. For goodness sake. Right, um... Let's just dive in. What's the worst that could happen? Uh huh. Uh huh. We're engaging. We might lose this. It's not... Oh. Uh... Let's just check out where the car... Can we see the car? Yes. Are they going to come and fight us? Which way are they going? Nowhere right now. Okay, that's... Fine, I suppose. Um, it's not going well. This isn't a winnable fight there. Yeah, let's pull back. Uh, we lost quite a... We, I think we lost a fair... Oh, did we barely lost anything, actually. Maybe we could have been okay. Maybe we could have been okay. 1,500 days to get there. No, we're good. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Khan... Are the Umtok following us? No, they better not be. Which way is the Khan going? Go on. Make, pick, 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 a, pick a direction. Give us a heading. Okay, so they're going to fight these folks first. We're fine with that. We want to just catch the Khan by themselves, really. Next level of strike craft. Do the thing. 
Yeah, we can't really face all three of those fleets together. Oh, all two. We'll come in from behind, do a bit of a rear guard. We should get the council. Yeah, okay, we're going to get the council. Great. Do we declare... No, we're not on the council yet. Give it a moment. Alright, the cards run away from there. Let's hit this fleet first. Let's hit them right in the face, but they don't like being hit. Yeah! Take that, you stupid space... Elves things. Here we go. Here we go. Now we got the Khan. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. I mean, Khan die, not us. Win the fight. Win the fight. Also, let's just settle a status quo here, because we're going to get... Yeah, this is... Yeah, we'll settle this one. I don't really care. Because now we get a massive vassal out of everything except their capital. <laughs> like, that's so stupid. Yeah, they are a delination of one system. And on the other hand, the Sacrosanct Beldroan Commonwealth, much better. I'm worried about Gothmog being killed. I'm really worried about Gothmog being killed. Oh no, we're not going to do it. Oh, some more fleet, some more ships are joining the fight. Oh, Gothmog ran away. No. No, we didn't quite make it. Ah, oh, damn it. We've left the Khan vulnerable to attack as well. That's really unfortunate. Uh, yeah, you can be our vassal, sure. But what do our vassals think of all of these vassals? Not really good thoughts. Hmm. We'll, uh, we'll upgrade a few. Who needs Galactic Emperor when everyone is our vassal? Uh, it's only kind of like the, the south and east. We, we've not kind of penetrated too far into the Polismus authority, unfortunately. And they're probably feeling a bit uppity now. Oh, the Ganogians now would like to open diplomatic relations. Well, isn't that cute? Can't lose track of the Khan. I think we should still be able to see him off. Yeah, he's coming our way. That's good. That's actually good for us. Oh, that's not good. That's very not good. Oh no! Oh, but our ships are so crap. Oh, there's no repair possible. Ah, sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Who's got... Someone had self-repair. You've got it, right. You go and help there. No, 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 no. Okay, so the Khan didn't get killed. That's good. That's good for us, actually. I'm hopeful these folks can self-prepare now. Oh, it's so slow. Okay. 
back to there. You come up to the front, that, that would help. Of course, the Athelian sector is now in complete disarray because of the fact we just pulled that governor out. They're losing their minds. <laughs> well, what can you do? Finally, someone will comfort the fallen. Oh yeah, that's the emergency measure. Comfort the fallen's gone out, yeah. Have I celebrated diversity? It really helps with the war. You know, actually, I've not, but we have had a religious revelation. Uh, Sauron's great. Level 10 leader. Oof. Where'd the Khan go? He went there, right? Also, these guys love us. Why or why? Given how much they love us, do they not like us? Divided patronage minus four. Ooh, yeah. What if we reform? Hear me out. Into a feudal society under our, our god king emperor, the Maya Sauron. I think this works well for everybody. I think this works well for everybody. Mm hmm. Are we keeping merchant guilds? Yeah, merchant memorialist feudal. It's the perfect system that we didn't even know we needed. Pedestari, Chief Balrog, Nice Fellow, uh, Chief Whipper, and Ringbearer. Now let's put everyone back in their right positions. Isildur, Ulasta, and Bombadil, Saruman. No. Why can't I? Oh, for God's sake, man. Gothmog's missing in action. That's kind of bad, actually. I should put someone on that, though. Uh, Gorbag, you're, you're now the Chief Balrog, bizarrely. Don't ask how that works. It just does. Okay, chat. Let's dive into the shroud again. Let's try for the research speed. We got it. We did get it. We know the Khan must be here somewhere. Probably in this system with the nebula. Yeah, okay. Space storm. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. What the heck? Uh, sure. Oh, we're quite over our naval, ca uh, our emperor, the limit there. Emperor Sauron. Well, you heard it here first, folks. You heard it here first. Darkness, you can rename council positions. Absolutely. That's why we have, uh, The God Emperor Sauron. Much better. Uh, currently giving us what? A bunch of our projection. Yeah, cool. Oh wow, it is cool. We're getting seven additional influence from that power projection. Nice. Eighty days will be repaired. Then we can head off, and there's the calm. I'm tempted to deal with the calm, but not yet is my feeling. I don't think we're quite there. It's twenty k. It's a nasty brute. Sixty thousand hit points. 
Oh, oh, Saruman's going in. And still missing an action, still missing an action. All right, we've got the star base. Now that we've got the star base, I can swap out this leader. The good, bring back the good one. Who's the good one? Uh, I don't know. You do, whatever. Uh, and throw down the leader we need on affiliate. There we go. All right, we're at 100%. Let's go kill some Khan. Khan! Oh, we've hit another level. Amazing. Sanctum of the Whisperers? Oh, you know, I don't mind if I do put down a Sanctum of the Whisperers. Uh, actually, I want it on the capital. That's going to grant us how many more telepaths? Three, yeah, three more telepaths. We'll have that down here on the capital. Fifteen alloys of pop. It's not bad. Not amazing, but really not bad. There it is. There he is. Got him. Khan located. Activate kill mode. Top of the evening, Alpha. Welcome. It's strange having you raid me for once, because usually I finish early, but we've just been having so much fun with this. Um, I, I must say, I, li I do like the text speed being lower, I, I think, actually. It's kind of a breath of fresh air. It's making things much more difficult than they would normally have been. Uh, we're, we're struggling in certain places, you know? We caught him. No, we haven't caught him. We're about to catch him. I think I'm just going to give up on that and go for the hyper relay tech right now. Yeah, thank you. Now we've caught him. Go on, kill it. Kill it. Don't run away. Give me the throne. Give me the throne. Oh. Oh. So ends the reign of Gordidig Den Iridar. That is my chair. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Right, let's go to our... Let's go to our vassals, shall we? I think they need to be reminded who's in charge. If we do that though, how much are we losing tech-wise? Make them a satrapy. You know what I'd like to have is a friend in the galaxy somewhere. One friend. I haven't got the diplomacy tradition, so I cannot diplomacy. Right. All hail the god Emperor Sauron. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. We may have retreated, but we definitely won. Does that make sense?
Some of these tech costs really baffle me at the moment. Really baffle me. I wouldn't say no to a Fallen Empire DLC is Michael Alexander. That's I wouldn't say no to a Fallen Empire DLC either. Not at all. I don't think you can play as the Fallen Empire tag, pretty sure. Yeah, we showed the Khan who's boss. All in a day's work for the legions of the Dark Lord. Let's uh, turn off some of these edicts, maybe. Zero additives, uh, yes, we'll snort that, I mean I meant to do a snort then, I just did a big noise, but it, imagine it was a snort. Right, we've got our first satrapy up and running there, good. We can afford to not have the tech here, I think. In exchange for satrapy rights. Oh, they love being satrapies. How much extra are we getting from these satrapies then? Uh, let's check, let's, let's check. From subjects, 311 naval capacity. Oh, yes. Yes, sweet. Sweet baby. I should just pivot to battleship. Oh, the new Arbathian Carnate with a population of basically nobody, I would imagine. Yeah. Oh, we can make hyper relays. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. Let's build a network. Also, are we ready here to? Yeah, let's uh, let's annex the planet. They're in the early space age now. He's providing technology. Just go get it. Magic nose candy indeed, terrible hamster. Yeah, I mean, this is... Uh, it's our galaxy, really, isn't it? We're also getting 5% subject naval capacity contribution from the fact that we are a feudal society as well. Like, everything's just coming up beautifully here.
let me see. Yeah, we'll send you over there. Oh, they brought the uh, gore bag. The oh, wait, no, we don't want that to be the chief power rock. No, no, no. Gothmog, back in charge. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're making 2k tech and it's like six months to do anything tech-wise. It's kind of bizarre. It's not terrible, it's just bizarre. is a mining woods world still good the past comfort the fallen I like that oh we defeated the Khan so we can't be named the Lord of the ring Okay. Yeah, I don't mind doing that. Did we just get the max level torpedoes? I think we did. Wow. Nice. Very tasty. How are we doing tech-wise? We're at 616. Six, eight, nine, eight. Yeah, okay, so some people are quite a bit ahead of us. Who the hell are the Cavantian Confederacy? I don't even remember those. Where do they come from? Make you our friends. Make you our friends. Also, probably do some spying. Okay, here we go. All good, all good under the hood. Right, um... Don't need that anymore. We don't want to be the custodian. Get to all the way of the crisis. Uh, perking. Now, it, that's true. Faction-wise, um... After infiltrating the Quadranite political leadership, our officers laid the ground for the arrival of a formal first contact unit. There will be no ceremony to mark, uh, mark the arrival of our diplomatic envoy. However, we have entered an agreement with the world leaders of Deneb 2B. Their moon will be annexed into Lords of the Ring. The foreign holding still exists. That's really annoying, actually. And they have annexation fever. They love, love, love it. No ceremony. I don't know why there was no ceremony, but there was no ceremony. No pomp or circumstance. There goes the space storm. Good. We make a little mine. We like a little mine. We can clear the slums for them, aren't we generous? Are we getting any bonuses for the research pacts? No.
What? what, what okay. Fine. 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 I think we can get through, probably not. Let's do a little bit of upgrading as well. Yeah, we'll buy more ships. Why not? Yeah, I should add stuff here. Uh, it's good. And more torpedoes. Call them anti Kibarian quadrants. The issue is I think I need to be able to change their template in order to rename them. I can't create a template which is exactly the same. Uh, so we do have to wait a little bit. But you know what we can do? We can go kick this dragon's butt. Aloran is not doing anything right now. You go and excavate. Uh, sure. We'll take a defensive pact with the Ganogian Empire. What? What? Oh no. The Ukiri is a substance abuser. Their lifespan went from 120 down to 190. Whatever are we gonna do? Probably nothing. Organize the council. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Uh, that kind of sucks. That's twenty percent weapons damage and militarist. That's so nice. But right now, let's go for matters of state. Reach into the shroud, grab, ethic, tra no, ship speed. I didn't do anything, whatever. That is clearly the worms from Dune, just saying. Dune inspired. Oh, I can't wait to see the new movie. Haven't seen it yet. Huff that Zero. Are we, aren't we huffing the Zero? Yeah, we are. Zero additives. We put Zero in all of our food, and we also give it to people when they're flying our ships. All right, at this point, I think it's fair to say we've achieved galactic peace. Got the biggest navy? Uh, no, maybe not, actually. No, let's a little bit. Well, we've made the, our, our, our defensive pact is with the other people who could challenge us, so that's fine. Hyper relay there. You build a hyper relay here. More hyper relays.
I sprinkled the Zero into my rum to spice it. Goodness me, Jay Palmer. Goodness me. Oh, we're overflowing on... Oh, okay. Well, let's just... Upgrade that. That's giving us 38% additional alloys from job, meaning we're making 19.5 alorinos. Awesome. More psychic workers are always necessary. Wait a minute, what? Oh, no, oh, what? Oh, bo booey. Right, let's go kill them. Oops, that's my bad. Wasn't I didn't notice. Sorry. We should have paid attention to that. That's, uh, that's our bad. We're very sorry. We'll work on it and do better next time. Two hundred thousand research for side jump drive. Two hundred and fifty thousand for side shields. We've only got seven hundred empire size. I. Things take a long time now. Things really do take a long time. very long time yeah only 700 empires i mean it could be bigger like we've got 49 systems 21 colonies 600 pops there's battleships i want kinetic artillery Doing some egg harvesting. Sorry, I'm I'm getting a little tired. Uh, it's uh, we've been going now for how many hours? Goodness gracious me! What was meant to be a three and a half hour stream has ended up going about six and a half hours. I hope you've been enjoying it. Uh, I've been enjoying it, but it, it really is going. It's going and continuing to go. Six Lord Montu. So many commanders, right? Um, I'm taking Defender of the Galaxy. Just so that people will vote for us as custodian. Giving me what I wanted. I guess I'll take the cruiser hold points. Yeah, it's just that one more thing. I had 200k research prices for repeatables in my game today, says Fire Dragon. Yeah, it's uh, gonna happen. Keep going. I want to. I should stop, but I want to keep going. 
I do want to keep going. We should I should stop and go to bed. Let's blow the worm up. We have a couple more perks available. I kind of want to get um, Naga Engineering. Wait a minute, we've done zero point reactor, so... Let's clear the blockers. A little bit of pot management. All good, all good, excellent. Michael Alexander says, I enjoy Stellaris too much. I stay up till sunrise playing it, so I try to live vicariously through Montu to save my sanity. Good point. G Palmer says, I got work in four and a half hours. Lol. I am sorry to hear that. Like a dog with a bone down there. Always going after the poor Bantherians. Getting 365 nav cap from subject, that's just this is just some silly numbers. Silly numbers. I never bothered naming the, the cruiser class. We must have been busy. Let's bring in an emergency measure. Let's offer them a commercial pact. Why do they not want to be our subject? Because we're too far away? What if we give them everything? I think, I think we can bring them in. I think we can bring them in. No. Oh, this is silly. Oh, go on. I mean, we could bring them in and that if they vote no, we'll bring them in as a subject. Unlocks one rockworm hive planetary decision. Minerals from jobs plus 20%, max mining districts plus, plus five. Ooh. Ooh, don't mind that sound of that. Uh, great, fissures will attune, whatever. Rockworm hive, excellent. We have a rockworm hive here. Oh, we can't do that anyway. Yeah, we're getting, uh, what, eight? Power projection, eight influence from power projection right now. That, that, yeah, yeah. It's because Sauron's very scary. Okay? Very darn scary.
Oh, I forgot that I built this. Uh, yeah, let's do something with it. So much war in the universe. Barbaric, really. Uh, discover another Elgate insight. We've got Elgate activation available. Some of these things, it's just kind of like, I don't really want to upgrade you. So I don't care that much. Hmm. We're completely maxed out on Unity now. That's that's a little silly. Is there an Elgate anywhere? Has anyone seen one? It is at Fire Dragon, so it is expensive early, but like I'm at 2330, 23, and I'm still going through. Now, I've had some tech issues. We're not, we could have, it would have definitely been possible to make more tech faster. Don't get me wrong. But it's still been, I think, quite enjoyable. this with an ancient refinery. Yes, don't mind if I do. Let's see, what else could we throw out? What else could we throw out? Now we're all good. Is now anything besides Tech Rush playable? So actually, Tech Rush is not the best thing now by far. I started off by ignoring Tech the first 20, or 20 years or so. And I just built alloys and conquered my neighbors. If you go back in the stream, you'll see. Um, is it a good patch? I, honestly, I, I think this is a healthy direction for the game to go in. I'm not I, I'm not hating what I'm what I'm what I'm seeing. I'm not hating what I'm seeing at all. That way, that way. Oh, crystals, no crystals, right. I enjoy the bioreactor changes uh, as it makes catalytic conversion much better. Yeah, yeah, I suppose, yeah, it does, doesn't it? I'm at war. Huh? Oh. Oh. Oh god, I'm at war. I didn't even notice. Right, let's do something about this then. That's awkward. Didn't even notice we were at war. Armies are literally landing on our planets, and I'm like, what? There's a wall? Who's wall? We've released the hosts. Ships, more ships, more ships. Ooh. 
think we'll do a good job smacking him in the face. Maybe we should think about not... Oh god, a more Alveo has been scoured. That's sad. Oh, that sucks. Poor Amoeba. Yeah, we'll have to crush him. Uh, also, it does look like we're going to become custodian. So, thanks, Galaxy. Oh, let's just kill it. Spent far too long not killing that thing. Let's go kill it. Time to go dragon hunting. We faced this one before. It killed Glaudon, the first dragon. And now we've killed it. Dead. Gotcha. Who got Dragon Slayer? What? No. Oh. No, well, who got Dragon Slayer? Ah, oh, there we are. Kamul the Easterling got Dragon Slayer. Fair enough. Can't complain with that one. Oh no, Minas Tirith is under siege. Whatever will we do? Right, now with the custodian, I reckon we declare the Polismus fools a crisis. Where are they? Authority, Polismus Primus. Can we push that through? Will anyone agree? Not really. Hmm. Ah, let's just withdraw it. And instead... Let's go with Galactic Defense Force. Everyone wants it. Keep failing. If the nerf detects for everyone, it's not that big a deal. Um, no. It, it, what it is, what is good, is that it means like. As you saw earlier, the calm was kind of a bit of an issue for us. Even though it was 2300, the calm was a bit of an issue. We defeated them, but, you know, it happened in the midst of another war. And it was kind of, it wasn't easy. It wasn't super easy. We didn't just roll over them, you know. Where's the parade happening? On the capital. Ah, okay.
Let's uh, encourage. Yeah, we are encouraging. Good. Oh, they came back. Blah. A quick repair, and then we'll once more into the breach, dear friends. Let us fill up the the the, the gap with their Belismus dead. Hello, Christopher Pierre. How is everyone doing today? I'm going pretty good. Pretty good. Yankee Space Whale. We could kill that as well. Uh, I mean, assist it with dying? No, I mean kill, don't I? Yeah, I mean kill. We, we, we did mean kill. We could kill that, yeah. It's weird they put a dimensional lock on the system that we know has nothing that can fly out of it. Um, fun, but weird. Great. Blizzman Authority made peace. That gives us more to shoot at. Ninety thousand HP. Doesn't it fall over fast? Oh, that's not good. They've got a new fleet. Luckily, we're in charge of the war as the overlords. So they can't. We can't have the. We can't have a rug pull event where we like lose everything. Because that would be the worst. Plus 10 stability on the capital, meaning it's now at maximum stability all the time. Yeah, it is. Great, 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 great. <laughs> oh my god, we've got too many jobs. We've got too many specialist jobs, I literally cannot see what all the jobs are. I've not had that before, that's wild. turn some edicts on actually let's go for fuel armor explosives that should do do i have any nanites i got 200 oh it comes with research upkeep why why game why Everybody, even the Polismus who we're fighting against, are in favor of a Galactic Defense Force. Probably because there's already been a crisis, I think. It's still quite funny, but 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 yeah. So we're fighting against them, they're like, yes, you need more ships. Okay, we'll take more ships. It 
if they insist. We're at max, let's claim some more stuff. Where's their capital? Somewhere over here, isn't it? Yeah. Find non-aggression pact, evolving society. Uh, not in its purpose. I want the one that gives us sweet some cooldown. All right. Then in a stability it is. What's your opinion of the patch so far? I, I think the tech changes are good. Uh, no tech to restore the ring yet. Nope. Have not had Mega Engineering show up. Not even a little bit. Pretty sure. Yeah, need Mega Engineering technology. And we haven't had it, so simple as that. Did we just swap places? We swap places with them. That's so stupid. Gorebag is a substance abuser. I mean, I believe that. Gorebag's a piece of crap. I am running here the multi purpose cruiser design. Uh, it works quite nicely against basically any ship type the AI comes up with, roughly. Uh, works against big, works against small, works against medium, works against all. gone until 2400 without seeing mega engineering is that with the with this beta uh, this is chosen not chosen one it's a bit different yeah okay cool so they're now the Chosen of the Whisperer, meaning they're granting 10% research from jobs uh, and 5% across the board and yada, 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 yada. No, 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 it's not, it's not Chosen 1, it's Chosen. Very different, very different. losing. Damn dwarves. Dwarvish steel. Yeah, pull them back. Huh. Well, I'll be darned. on the floor 
close that. Let's see what we can build. Uh, no. Kinetic, okay, yeah, okay. This is fine. We're at 2335. The best the galaxy has is tier 1 kinetic and tier 1 swarm and missile and tier 4 armor. This is galaxy wide, don't forget. Let's boost the speed. Oh, Autozyne is still in charge. We'll turn that off. Yeah, we finally got the lifespan bonus. Good. No, I can't. Okay. Uh, so a missile, I'll take that. And we'll go for the precog. Yeah, go on. How about the fleet changes? Fleet changes, fleets haven't really changed that much. Uh, it's just that your fleets are worse now because you have less tech. So, I, I guess from that point of view they've changed, but I, I don't really, I, I don't know, I don't think that's really a change that counts, so to speak. Trying to fight the matriarch with 5k? Okay. Good luck. Uh, let's see. We should probably start building some of those ships that we've just designed. A thousand rather. Yeah, it's a bit cheaper. believe these folks down here that's just ridiculous little teeny tiny nation now no tech no economy no pots tiny fleet because they didn't want to submit eh. oh when you're saying about the fleet fleet issues well no so i mean the game i'd say is running faster now than it used to probably because we don't have as big, the fleets aren't as big at this point. Like, I've got about a thousand nav cap, but the AI doesn't. The AI is quite a bit behind where I am nav cap wise. So, yeah. Oh, it's an election. Good for them. They removed upkeeping cost modifiers, or am I wrong? Yes, no, sorry. They did remove upkeeping cost modifiers. I Sorry, I thought you meant with fleet changes. I thought you meant to do with, like, the ships themselves changing. Yes, yeah, so that's better. We're actually, ironically now, um, we were earlier at 105%. Ulustar lost their negative traits, which is good. Look at this council. Oh, this council is beautiful. Silda bearing a ring, a nice fellow over there, and then we've got 10 out of 10s across the board.
I think I'll just take the capital. Yeah. Yeah. Just claim that that's not their capital, is it? Is it? Yes, it is. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we'll just try and take their capital as well. What the hell is the AI doing? Look at this. So the scripting means that they're building hyper entertainment forums because they're but then they won't employ the duelist because they don't feel like they need the amenities. That's a case where like the optimization has gone a bit wrong. A little bit wrong. A ministry of science no we can't okay where is our scholarium here it is is that the capital it is but they've got no researchers oh, make more researchers I don't know why they hate us so much. They want, like, they wanted to be our, our, our vassal, and then they hate us. Eh? Eh? Oh yeah, we'll mobilize the galaxy, and we'll remove the term limit. Yeah, that that sounds reasonable. That is quite a range for that thing to jump. We do have seven clerks. Yeah, that's 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 my bad. Can't emergency measure that. Oh well. Oh, we're getting to that bit where I am super tired. Yeah, I don't know how long, much longer we can keep going. But I'm enjoying the game a lot. It was fun playing something quite different, actually. It was quite fun playing something. I mean, I wouldn't, wouldn't normally play Fanatic Xenophile Spiritualist. Uh, and then kind of going the whole Ringworld thing was fun. It was interesting. I, I'm it, It's kind of annoying that I've not rolled Mega Engineering Tech and can't seem to roll it. No darkness. No, 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 no. It's a, it's a great idea. I love the idea, but what if we didn't do that? Hmm? Love the enthusiasm. Love it. Oh, we basically made food as cheap as it can be. somewhere what the heck now we're at 1520 from subject 600 oh. the, the the amount that you can get now it seems from the uh, from the satrapies is a little wild
a little balmy. Look away, Stellaris. Don't nerf our chat. Don't nerf our chair. No, the chair's, the chair's great. Uh, all praise the chair, but it is a little balmy. It is late into the night, get guy or geek. Uh, we started a bit earlier and we are still going. We've kind of almost unified most of the galaxy now. Our fleet compared to a fallen empire is now equivalent, which is something. Still kind of sucky how little the amount of research we get compared to the previous numbers does kind of feel bad a bit. Um, I can't lie that that doesn't feel great, but I, I think it's probably a good thing. Even though it doesn't feel great, I think it probably is a good thing. Probably. Fallen Empire, should we go punch in the face? Um, hmm. Not entirely sure, actually. I think we're invading the capital now. Yeah, there we go. Good. Job well done. I'm getting all mumbly because I'm tired. Um, ba -ba -ba. Oh, they gave up. Oh, look at that. We can finally connect everything back up again. So you go that way. You go this way. You go that way. Cool. That should boost some stuff. How is that capital doing? Purging some robots, that's fine. Oh, otherwise they like it. They really do seem to like it. Orcs for fighting party, 62% happiness. There we go. Oh, they had slaves. We invaded them and liberated the slaves. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, I would love to get a reset all trade route button. That would be pretty cool. Let's bring everyone home.
Are we debating remove custodianship term limit? Yes, good. Sauron shall be forever king of all the worlds. Good night, Vardpo. Good night. Hope you've had fun. Just still playing. <laughs> Um, hit the, um, oh, I can repair that, can't I? Yeah, good, I'll do that. He's not making enough alloys, actually, at this point. What I really want to be able to do is repair the ring worlds. Do that, I do have to finish Citadel and some other bits and pieces. You know what would give me energy? The Galatron. Ooh. But just caravan coins. Open a reliquary. Nothing. Never anything. Never a Galatron. No, not that. That'd be too reasonable. Too obvious. I know, Michael Alexander. I know. What's the overall thoughts on the patch, good or bad? I like some of the direction we're going here. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, it's a bit of a. In some ways, it's a bit of a breath of fresh air. In other ways, in other ways, it's going to be kind of feel quite bad probably for for a little while until we get used to how slow research is now. Research is taking a lot longer than it used to. A lot longer. Longer to get it up there. Um, no pun intended. It takes longer to get it up. And then once you get it up, it just seems to take longer to do anything with it. They're at level 3, but they're still only giving us 30%. No, 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 that won't do. Give us all of it? No, we can only go up by 1.8 more before they'll hate us. Hmm. What if we give them expansion? And some cash up front? Yeah, here we go. We'll take all of their research and they can give us something uh, what are they, uh, yeah, we'll take all their research and then we'll give them some stuff yes they love that they love it now we'll end that session early because we can Proclaim Galactic Imperium. Can't do it because I don't have the cash, uh, the influence. Also, I'm pretty sure it's on cooldown. Ninety-nine percent sure it's on cooldown. Right, uh, yeah. Take five percent happiness. Put a garrison on your planet. You're welcome. People who went to sleep in the first hour will be waking up rested and ready to go. Ooh, twenty percent sunlight speed. Yeah, I mean, I guess Michael Alexander. How much did they reduce the research output? So, two big things have happened with research output. First. The base output is three, so 25% uh, th uh, reduction from four to three. On top of that, all of the techs, all of the techs, um, all of the techs that used to give plus 20%, there were three of them for each type of research, so that's plus 60% you could get in total, have all been removed. So we've gone from four to three, 
and they've taken a plus 60% modifier away. So we're currently, if we had that right now, we'd be at, um, uh, what? We'd be at seven plus 60% of four. Uh, we'd be at like nine research per pop here. So in total, that's basically like a 40% reduction on research output. Like there's a reason we haven't managed to roll Mega Engineering yet. Oh, on top of that as well, all the tech is much more expensive. Look, I'm spending 100,000 here on Citadels. It's 44,000 base. We're at 800 Empire size, but that means 140% additional tech cost. Which isn't nothing. Everything's just more expensive. It, you feel it a lot early on in the game. Uh, oh, is the MP, MP stability trash? Hmm. You feel it a lot early on in the game, but then the late game is now much more interesting. Like we're at 2340 and I'm still I'm still not at repeatables. Like, I think from the gameplay curve, it's kind of more balanced now. The gameplay curve is a bit more balanced, I think. Well, no, so I don't think people will tech rush even harder now. Tech takes longer, so tech rush is less viable. Early on, what I did actually was alloy monkeying. So I ignored tech for the first 20 years, built, lot, built some alloys, more than my neighbors, and then I just knocked them out and took their capitals and used their research uh, uh, districts, basically. It will take longer to reach battleships and multiplayer lobbies. Don't forget, multiplayer lobbies can reduce the tech cost more. They can put it down to like 0.25 if they wanted to. So that, if the issue you're thinking of is like, oh, well, MP is going to take too long to get to recent reasonable tech. Well, probably not. Because they could just knock it down to 0.25 or something like that. Uh, have I added in? Oh. Let's get all the good stuff. Hundred and seventy likes till the impossible one K like goal. <laughs> I think I'll be stopping before then. I hope I'll be stopping before then. Good lord. Somebody stop me. We'll increase the ship speed a little. There we go. Shattered ring is garbage right now. Yeah, especially because of how long it takes you to get to the point of repairing it. It's like you'll never really see it. I think it does mean you have to relearn not necessarily how to play, but like how the game feels. Um, it doesn't feel the same as it used to. The empires are, empires are getting quite a penalty for going wide, so I'm not that wide, but I'm 800 empire size, and that's giving me a 
140% additional cost. If I integrated everybody, I would be stuffed. Exactly, yeah. instead of 2k it costs 2.6, you do notice it a lot more at the start of the game because your research output is quite a bit lower, like the first text can take 5 or 6 years to complete. Uh, but that's closer to what it used to be when 1.0 came out, years and years ago. It is, we're closer to what kind of the game used to be like. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Designs. Why are you not upgrading? That's weird. Oh, you are upgraded. Cool. There we go. Urban world granting 50% additional trade value. Nice. Right, let's proclaim Galactic Imperium. Oh, there's a lot of people against it. Then Overlord? No. Can't do them. Thought about doing it to these folks once. We can probably try doing it this time, though. Doesn't like the subject type. Oh, okay. give them some stuff. People like stuff. Yeah, we'll pretend to give them a bunch of stuff. 
And this is just to get the Imperium through. Right, there we go. Oh, this is going to be expensive. I'll have to renegotiate in a moment. But that 14k is enough to swing it. Yeah, there we go. hurting us a little bit economically for a little bit. We'll be fine overall though. Because soon we'll be the Galactic Emperor. And everyone will have to do whatever the hell we say. We'll say jump and they'll say how high sir, Mr. Sauron sir. Did they change how you get frigates? No. And that technology is actually relatively cheap still. It's about 4,000. So it's, it's not too overly expensive. You can still get frigates relatively quickly. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. So many upgrades. We got that a long time before Destroyers. Yeah, oops, punch the microphone. We got that a long time before Destroyers. Exactly, Darkness. Yeah. Hyper relays, yeah. We well, could have some hyper relays down here, couldn't we? Uh, we just need to connect up to the network. Okay, cool. I don't know how to deal with Empire Sprawl as a Total War Empire. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, they'd like to take Saruman. Yeah, no, we need him. So, go away. Whistle. Advanced strike craft, nice. Let's let's go with impulse thrusters. Okay, that's all done. Uh, all right. I don't want to take that. Take the encryption tech. Previously, you had to get fusion power. Now I'm seeing frigates as a first option. Just wondering if they changed the tree. Uh, you still have to get um, fusion missiles, I'm pretty sure, which doesn't require fusion power. Pretty sure. Could be wrong there, though.
who will reorganize into the first galactic empire for a safe and secure society. You know what that means now, though? Well, I mean, right now we can't do it. But if we dissolve the empire... Can we do that? No. We cannot. Huh. Mr. Freak says, I have goosebumps. There we did it. We did it. First, uh, Sauron, the god galactic emperor Sauron has done it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, not immortal, but pretty dark. Oh, wait. We have to reformat the whole thing. One second. Head is starry. Chief Balrog. Uh, nice fellow. Watcher of the Imperium. Chief Whipper and a ring bearer. Right, let's get Sildur on that. Ulstar on there. Tom Bombadil here. Gothmog and Saruman. Excellent. The renames do stay after you reform. Yes, yeah, well, I mean, I've, set, I've set what those positions are, so... That's what they are now. We're not at low naval capacity uses. We're using so much naval capacity. Oh, no one can undermine the Imperium either because, because of that bug with the uh, with the kajiggering. No one can undermine the Imperium. Uh, oops. Well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. We've uh, we've done it. One last thing, I suppose, before we go. Post of Gundabad, why are you not somewhere? And the Minas Tirith army, you should all get into orbit. Oh, what? I'm sorry. What is this? Uh, what? Well, I see. I see. I see. Right. Whoa, we're now at war with everybody. Uh, not everyone, we're now at war with the, uh, these people. Oh, they can fly through dimensional locks, can't they? Oh, poppycock. And claim the capital. Maybe that system. This system. That one as well. Who are we war with now? We're also at war with the Gnogian. What? 
hold up. We're allied with the Gnogians and at war with the Gnogians at the same time. So. So. Hold up. <sighs> okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is troubling. Kind of a little bit troubling. Oh, they hit us quite a bit of connected artillery before we can even fire. Nasty. We'll swarm to death. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The Gnogian Empire. That means we're at war with them. Hold up, hold up. So we've just attacked it and claimed it on behalf of an empire we're also now at war with. I I don't even know what to say on that note. Um, right. Yes. Good. What? I mean, this seems a little wrong. If that now shoots at me, I'm going to be deeply... I can't move through it. I can't move through it. I cannot move through it. Oh, it's nice we're doing the nice circle formation. Uh, but also, yeah, I, I can't move through it. What? What? Th mm, this doesn't seem correct. Th this seems kind of incorrect. Because now there's a... Huh. And I'm at war with them, but I'm also on the same side as them in this war. We have a dark matter shortage, fine, whatever. It doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you, it doesn't make any sense. Like, we... Why are we fighting? Does that mean we can never fly through, though? No, we can okay. But we're at war with them. Yeah, some of the war systems here need a bit of a rework. I, I can't lie. The, this is really a little bit silly. shouldn't be like this. <laughs> Perfectly balanced. You've been defeated by bureaucratic paperwork. Brace falls the most powerful force in the galaxy. Says Michael Alexander. You, I mean, you're not wrong there. You're not wrong. They, they are very, very powerful. Um, oh, yeah, your you're, you're, you're fleet is pathetic. You decided to go to war with the Gnogians who don't have a, a pathetic fleet. You're very smart. Very smart individuals. Oh, so we ended up the bombing. Right, um, allow the surrender. We've not actually done the bombing thing yet. Cool. So. Crisis hasn't shown up. We formed the Galactic Imperium. We're going to kick the butts of... Oh, wait, no, we've got one more thing to do. Cavellian are a vassal under the Gnogians, meaning they're now our enemy.
Some aspects of this are deeply silly. Being at war with our ally in another war, like, it shouldn't be possible. Especially when we attack and then it goes to somebody else, like, that doesn't make any sense to me. That shouldn't be how it is. It should not be how it is at all. Go on, hit them. Hit them in the face. Uh, you know what, actually? Given that I think I'm about to stop, I'm just going to grab Galactic Contender quickly. Just to guarantee us absolute and overwhelming victory here. A lot of our ships are probably going to die, though. But it's a sacrifice we are willing to make. They're doing a lot more damage output than we are, but... Well, I mean, partly to our hull at least, but that's because... Are they pretty much knocked out now, then? Yeah, they've got 3,000 nav cap left. Cool. Yeah, we've won that war, basically. Right, okay. We proclaim the Empire. We won the war. I'm going to bed. Who killed the Archduke? Uh, no, so what happened is, right, I'll explain the war thing that's happened. So, the RAN Forerunners declared war on the Gnogian Empire. We have a defensive pact with them, so we went to war with the RAN Forerunners. Then our vassal, the Cavanti Confederacy, who are a satrapy, if we go to the vassal notes, you will find that they are a satrapy. And we have to join them in their offensive conflicts. No, they're not a satrapy, they're a regular vassal, but we join them in offensive conflicts. All conflicts. They decided to go with the, go to war with the Gnogians. But they shouldn't have been allowed to do that because it brought us into the war and we we're already at war with uh, already on the same side as the Gnogians in a war. Huh? Yeah, I'm calling this a win. We've done the Empire. We've got not immortal, but good enough Sauron. Kind of even looks a bit sour in now. Uh yeah, been a lot of fun. Um, my sleep is going to be beautiful. Thank you for asking. Thank you to everyone that's been uh, subscribing uh, on Twitch and joining as members on YouTube and donating members and super chatting and all that lovely stuff. You have been wonderful. I hope you enjoy patch 3.11. I've definitely had fun today. Um, but I guess until next time, I've been Montu, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, let's see if we can raid anyone on Twitch actually first. Uh, no, there's no one I know on Twitch that's going. All right, cool. I've been Montu. You be you. Good night, everybody. Or good morning, if that's where you are. Oh, one last thing. If you've been not been watching live, thank you to all the lovely live people. If you've not been watching live and you're still watching, let me know down in the comments below. Because um, I'd love to hear from you. All right. Bye for now, everybody. Ciao.